Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. I'm John Cole Morgan, and this could be the very first time that I'm in your living room on your TV with Freeview. Welcome. It's so, so lovely to have you today. And it's meant to be hotter than Ibiza today. Isn't that just glorious? I'm so excited. And because of that, we've got something called a heat wave special. I am so, so excited about these. Not had them before. Got some fabulous deals that we're going to be able to bring you. I cannot wait to show you. Let's start off with our wonderful creative grids. So the heat wave deals will be every half hour. We're not having an early bird. 8 a.m. you've got one. 8.30. I'm saying nothing. I'm just patting it gently. 8.30. At 9 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock and 10.30, you're going to have a special, incredible deal. Amazing savings. These are really fabulous products that you're going to want in your stash, in your collection, tools that you can't do without of, and at prices that cannot be done again. They are just incredible. And our 8 a.m. one, you all know I adore my creative grids. And this one, I think these are the actual top ones that you should get as you're, if you're starting out as a beginner, you all need a square. I like to get a bigger square than normal just because there are always those little pieces that every now and then you want to cut and your little six inch or your eight inch isn't quite big enough. The 12 and a half has got you covered on everything. All the Creative Grids rulers come with these wonderful non-slip grip technology on the back so that your ruler doesn't move around or slip. You've got this fabulous 45 degree line. So when you're doing half square triangles, you can easily put that down any size half square triangle up to 12 and a half inches. You will easily be able to get on there. If you're doing any form of squaring up, anything like that, this is the ruler that you want to get on that. Really, really fabulous one there. And then you've got the fabulous eight and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler as well. Again, you've got that Creative Grids non-slip technology grips on the back. So when you're using it and you're trying to move it around, it's not gonna shift as easily when you've got your straight side there. This is our very first ever heat wave deal. This is such a great ruler. These two rulers are so amazing. They are staples staples for all of your quilting needs absolutely brilliant and these two available today as a one-off heat wave deal both of these rulers for 45 pounds 98 that's a saving of 10 pounds come and of course these are all things that we don't buy every day or every week we they last for ages and you've got all these wonderful little um qr codes that you can go and get all the videos you need on them and they are just staples that you will need and such a great great saving on these today and really fabulous products and of course don't forget creative grids designed by quilters for quilters and they are just the most brilliant brilliant basics you need to start the quilting road with the right tools being able to have the perfect rulers the perfect things of being able to do it that are easy to read safe to use and are going to just make your journey even more easy along the way these are definitely the rulers that you want to be doing that with if you have put them in your basket already well done our very first heat wave deal. And don't forget, we've got them coming every half hour on the half hour. Just, I'm just gonna pat it and say 8.30. 8.30. I'm not allowed to say anything, can you tell? 8.30. So check out the website for that. Heat wave deals every half hour for all three hours today. If you're in the iPad, if you're if you're avoiding the heat and you're under a tree somewhere in the garden with your iPad, brilliant. Put it in your basket. You won't regret it. If you want to get in contact with us as well, best way of doing that, we've now got a studio email address. So that'll be studio at sewingstreet.com. Um, then if you want to get us on our Facebook page, that will be www.facebook.com slash sewingstreettv. There'll be a little message button on there, so you'll be able to send us a message. We love hearing from you. If there's anything on the show that we've shown you want to see again, pop us a line. That's easily done. Otherwise, just come and send us a picture of what you're doing just to say hello. What? I love talkback. 
this first heat wave deal less than 20 of them available you are very savvy shoppers you know a good deal when you see one so don't miss out it's available all day until they sell out less than 20 left on that one at the minute but now even though that's our heat wave deal and that's really important and very exciting we've got the most incredible hour moda i've got to get this correct now le beau papillon absolutely the most gorgeous gorgeous collection of fabrics there we've also got really amazing books to go with it we've got pam and nikki lintot's beautiful jelly roll uh, quilts in a weekend book we've got the annie's quilting just charms quilts as well we've got pre-cuts as well that's just my first hour and then the rest of the day, we've got Gemology. Oh, I can't wait to show you that one. Really lovely demo on that. Then we've got our sewing room tools after that. And then repeat, uh, is that yesterday's show? Fabrics and sewing inspirations at 11. And then the sewing street kits at 12. Really fun filled um, day for you today. And in case you don't want to be getting out into that gorgeous sunshine, hotter than Ibiza, Alexa told me this morning. Hotter than Ibiza, goodness me. If you want to be avoiding that and you want to stay indoors, we've got five hours ahead of us. Really, really, really amazing things to show you today. So I'm going to start off with this jelly roll. And for me, there is nothing better in the world than doing this. You have to, you have to take your time with this because then you save the tape because the tape is so amazing. These are the Moda jelly rolls. This is the first time that we've had the pre-cuts on. Oh, and this is now the point of no return. Are you ready for it? Going to be expanding it out. This is, oh, I love these jelly rolls. I love unwinding them. But you've got to take your time on them. Oh, and there you go. You've got it perfectly laid out. This is how I do every single time I undo my jelly rolls. I get them all laid out like that in a nice little pile. And then I go through and have a look what I've got. Oh, I love these. So this is the Le Beau Papillon collection by Moda. First time we've got it on Sewing Street as pre-cuts. That's the wonderful one there. I mean, never, never throw these tapes away because I find the tapes so incredible for other projects. But these fabrics are just incredible. Look at how amazing these are. And I love getting a new jelly roll because this is exactly how I do it. So I always start out like that and then I take them and I put them down like this every single time. I reorder them to see what I'm getting and I know what I'm playing with and what I've got to work with. It just gets your brain working on different projects that you can do. So what I love this is also with these collections, what they do is they put um, a, a, a background, but this isn't a background solid. It's actually got a tiny little grain on it as well. And we do not have these um, by, the, by the meter or half meter. These are only available in the pre-cuts, which is great. Because when you're wanting to do a strip set, having one of those in the middle works so perfectly. And look how gorgeous that one is. Oh, I love these. But I do think that this is my favorite way of doing jelly rolls. You just go through and you see all the colors. And here's another one of those neutrals, but totally different color to the first one. And you see, that's what I like, is then you get an idea of what it is you're working with. And don't forget today, our uh, jelly rolls, £36.99. That's a lot cheaper than it's in most shops. That is really, really good price today. Oh, look at that. Just looking at these gorgeous um, tealy colours in the background of those flowers. Look at these, oh, and you're getting two of those, which I love. And then again, they've been so clever with their background colors as well. Look at that. And we're now getting to the point where I have to slide it up. There's just so much fabric here. So these are each two and a half inches wide. There are 42 of them in total. So by my calculations, I think that's just over a hundred inches. Is that right? 42 times two and a half. My maths brain doesn't work when I'm looking at lovely fabrics like this. Look at that one. Hmm? 
and they love the way they just go from these beautiful bold colors over here to this lovely little I want to say ditzy print I'm not sure if that's the right term but you know what I mean and look at the little butterflies love these it's a beautiful, beautiful collection, this. Now, most of these we will have by the half meter as well as in our gorgeous mega bundle as well. Look at these, oh, I love it. And the butterflies, they work so beautifully. And look how different they are going from the red to the blue. But they're exactly the same, but so different. You know what I mean. I think it also, because this is what I mean when I go through every single piece of my jelly roll, because when you do that and you see you've got this gorgeous red piece that goes with those solids. Now what I'm thinking as well, if I'm doing strip sets, then what I might actually do is just pull out all my solids and then do that as a little color combination there. You know, it's, I think it's really important whenever you get a jelly roll, because a lot of us do want to do things um, not just sort of random, but I like organized random. So for me, I'd be trying to pull all these out because the other good thing is, is that you've got these in all different colorways as well. So this, I just think is most gorgeous, gorgeous fabric there, but we've got it in three different colorways, if I'm not mistaken. We've got it there. And now if I'm doing strip sets, I'm thinking, oh, I've got it there. Um, and I think I've got it there. Hang on, where is it? It is. And I feel bad because I, I'm, this is exactly what I do when I get a jelly roll. I sit down and I go and I go, oh, those three work really, really well together. So some of you may not have actually seen me before because this is the first time you'll be able to see it on free view. Hello. I hope I don't bore you too much. <laughs> But what I lack in talent, I make up for in enthusiasm. So there we go. <laughs> so I've been quilting for about six years, um, originally an accountant. I know, how do you go from accounting to this? Um, and, and my own books are a mess. <laughs> but it is honestly the biggest passion of my life I have ever come across. I adore quilting, everything fabric, uh, designing, patterns. I think I've spent, we worked out the other day, I think I've spent 20,000 hours sewing in the last six years. It's obscene, but I love every minute of it. Um, so if nothing else, you're definitely gonna get addicted to sewing if I've got my way on it, because I absolutely adore this. And I think when you've got a passion for something and being able to share that with people, that's half the, half the journey really, being able to do it with people that you can sew with. And I have to say that the community that we all are part of in the sewing community is without question the most most giving, loving, supportive, wonderful community you could ever be a part of. So to all of you who make it so special, thank you. Look at this amazing jelly roll. You, I know you just, all of you are loving that, but you're like, show me the fabric. I know that. And you can see again, you've got all these different colorways through here. So again, I've got that wonderful red and I've got the blue, but then I've also got it in the cream. And I've got it in, where have I put it? There, there we go, there's my white. So you can see there, you've got four different colorways of that same fabric. Oh, let me roll that back so you can see it a bit better. And you can see that as a strip set would be beautiful. So I, I just think it's really important sometimes to just take that time, go through the, the fabric and find what works for you. And I'm hearing that a quarter of the stock of this is gone already brand new today and I'm so pleased because oh, look at this color oh my gosh that red tell me that's by that oh it's not by the half meter why is it always the best pieces are in there and you can't get them but look at these and again remember we said earlier we had these in the different colorways look how beautiful they look in the different colorways there And all of you just joining me now, just under 15 minutes till our next heat wave deal. Boom, boom, boom. We do need a theme tune for our heat wave song. Oh, holiday, wouldn't that be lovely? <laughs> I'm not doing that. And I'm sure there'll be royalties somewhere. 
<laughs> we were thinking of a, a very well-known uh, performing artist who sang a song about a holiday, which might um, go, cause problems. We're not going to do that. But just look at that incredible jelly roll there. 42 strips, two and a half inches wide. Um, I think that's working out. Is that 90-something inches? Two and a half times. 105 inches, so that's just over two and a half meters of fabric, but it's two and a half inches of every single fabric in the in the color combination, in the whole design, um, what do we call it? Collection, that's what I'm looking for, collection. You'll bear with me, you, if you haven't seen me before, I forget words quite often, like, what's your name? And you're like, uh, uh, there we go. But this is such a great, great deal. Now, the great thing is, is if you buy a pre-cut and you don't know what you're doing with it, good old Pam and Nikki, they've got you. Pam and Nikki Lintot run the quilt room down in Dorking, and they are so incredibly talented. Written so many books, all of them so easy to use, really, really easy to understand, and they're just so, so fabulous. The one that I'm holding at the moment is called the Jelly Roll Quilts in a Weekend book. They are so, so, so easy. And the great thing is they're 15... Oh, I've got little threads here. Sorry, just while I clean my table. Oh, is that a good... That is a good tip. I'm just hearing tips in my ear, which is great. If you've got a... If you're opening your design roll, put the hoover around the side before you open it. That's a really good tip. I like that. So here we've got... Pam and Nikki have written this book. So there are 15 different quilts in this book. I absolutely love it because it is all made by Jelly Rolls. So this is a quick summary of all 15 of them. And you can see just how unique each and every one is. And most people don't see the star that is there. And then this, because there's a star pattern hidden in there, which I love a secondary pattern. And this quilt is my next one. I have to talk nice, nicely to Haley today if I can take that jelly roll and go and make something out of that. Because look at that, that is just beautiful. And what I love is hexagons. I absolutely love hexagons, but I absolutely despise Y seams. I hate them. I'm absolutely terrible at them. But Pam and Nikki have a trick for you. And the great thing is, is each one of these patterns, so well written, really, really easy to do, but also it's one of those wonderful mindless, not mind, mindful, mindful sewing the days where you can sit in front of your machine, have something on the telly, watching away, and you can make something so beautifully in a really, really short space of time as well. Now, 10 minutes till the next heat wave, people, don't hang around. If you don't know what we mean, I'm just going to stroke her quietly over here. Mm. I'm not allowed to say anything, I'm just going to pat her. But this, I absolutely adore this quilt. So you remember when I was going through the jelly roll a few minutes ago? Imagine being able to pick these all out in just different random colorways, making it look random, but it's not. And you get all these wonderful strips in there. I think that's fabulous. I don't even think you're using a full strip there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Thirty-three, and then she's chosen the rest for the border. She's used nine in the border there. Clever girls, they know what they're doing. Love this. And that's what I meant about the star. You can see as I circle them, you've got stars everywhere. Really, really cute quilt, that one. Look at that. And they just make it so easy to be able to do. And because that is so effective and so beautiful. But when you look at the, and you, it looks incredibly complicated as well. But all they do is they break it down into these really, really simple ways of being able to make the quilt. It's excellent. And making these beautiful pinwheels each and every time. Oh, look at that. So this would be amazing in a jelly roll and all you'd need to do is buy some coordinating fabric to go with it. Um, and if I turn the page ever so slightly, oh no, twice, you need to get, oh, only a meter of cream fabric is your accent fabric there. They've been very, very clever with that. 
It'd be beautiful in this colorway. I absolutely think that would be stunning. And this one, I think you only need one jelly roll. Yes, one jelly roll. Or 42 inch strips with the fabric. That is such a beautiful colorway that that would be so, and it is so easy to do as well, because you can see you're just cutting them in different sizes and then sewing them together and it comes out with this beautiful design. Really, really clever. And there we go, such a great book on there. Make sure you have a look at that. That's the Pam and Nikki uh, Lintot Jelly Roll Quilts in a Weekend book. I keep wanting to say Jelly Weekends in a Quilt, but Jelly Roll <laughs> Quilts in a Weekend. <laughs> Now, I am going to very quickly just mention the limited, when I say limited, it's really limited. We've got a massive, massive mega bundle here of all of these fabrics. How many are there? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six,
And also, it's such a nice way, if you're a little unsure of what to do, especially if you're just starting out in quilting as well, a charm pack is a really, really nice way of doing it. Because really, just very simply, all you do is you take this and you sew the five inch strips, to, uh, five inch pieces together, and you just practice your quarter of an inch. And my top tip as well, so if you are going to do that and you are just beginning, offset them. Don't put them next to each other, because if you're doing that, and your quarter inch is a bit out, you're never gonna get it right and you'll feel always despondent. But my top cheat is you go like that, because then no one's gonna know, no one's even gonna see it. And whatever you've got left on the end over here, cut off and put it on the other side and then everything lines up. So that's my top tip with the jelly roll cheating, not jelly roll, charm pack cheating. Just offset it, no one will notice. And if anybody does criticize your seams, well, don't, don't let them back in your house. Well, I suppose now, unless they're in your bubble, you can't. <laughs> it's a very strange world we live in now, that we all live in bubbles. But there we go. I'm very happy with my little bubble. Look at that! Oh my gosh, that is so wonderful. Ooh, I hadn't noticed that in the other one. Isn't that really pretty? Look at these fabrics, they're all so different. And the best thing about a charm pack is you're getting a five inch square of the entire collection. Some of them you'll only have one of, some of them you'll have two of. It's just it, luck of the draw, that's what they do. They've got to make 42 squares in there. What? Right, mega bundle, sorry, it's gone, bye. We will be doing by the half meter though. Some of them are not available by the half meter, but the mega bundle has sold out. I knew you'd see good stuff. You see good things, you buy them. I know you're very savvy shoppers, you lot. Love it. Oh, look at that red. Oh my gosh, I think that's maybe the fa my favorite red. I absolutely love this red. You can only get this in the pre-cut, oh, but isn't that just gorgeous? And the thing is as well, there's only one of them, otherwise I'd try and put it in my little bag. But no, alas, only one of them. And I promise I've never stolen anything from the studio, studio except that one piece of Tula Pink, which I was very, very, I'm taking this with me. <laughs> so those are 42 pieces of this wonderful five inch squares, the Libo Papillon. Now we're gonna come back to that because, sorry, I'm getting all my fluff off. Now. Heatwave deal. You don't know what it is, do you? Heatwave deal. There's lots of sunshine, there's lots of heat, we can't go anywhere. So we're going to bring you all of our wonderful savings to be able to get you a nice little special day doing two every hour on the top of the hour and the bottom of the hour. Zero and 30. We've got different deals. Oh, I love this one. It's so amazing. This is such a great deal. Look at that. You are getting the Alison Glass Remix Print which we've now trapped into the machine so that it would stay nice and safe. You're getting this now. In case you haven't seen the Alison Glass panel, this might be my favorite piece of fabric ever made. And I know that's dramatic, but look at it. I made a 110 inch by 80 inch quilt and I backed it all in these panels because look how beautiful that is. Absolutely incredible. I love this fabric by Alison Glass. This was first made in 2014. It was so popular that they reprinted it again last year. So it's back in stock. This is now included in your little deal. I'm not telling you how much it is. Just wait, wait, there's so much. So you're getting this wonderful panel. You are getting the poly, the Hobbs poly down, 45 inch by 60 inch polyester wadding. That's crib size, but it's also the size for the Victoria Carrington quilt we did a couple of weeks ago. You're also getting this fabulous Alpha rotary cutter. This one is what I learned to quilt with. It is such a good rotary cutter there. Absolutely love it. But I have to say, looking at all of these heat wave deals together, Together, if you've not started quilting yet, our first heat wave deal was those wonderful rulers. Our second heat wave deal 
is your sewing machine, your rotary cutter, what more could you ask for? And um, there was a bundle of fat quarters here, working with slightly different fabrics. Not all of these are quilting fabrics, but they are amazing, really, really good. You're getting, sorry? Oh yes, definitely. So for Debbie Shaw does amazing bags. These would be perfect for different projects there and for different cushions and things. So you've got these wonderful dots, this wonderful gingham style check, the wonderful dots again, but in a different colorway. And then you've got this um, heart colorway here that is 55% uh, hessian, 45% cotton. Absolutely stunning there. So these are all included in the deal. No, 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 I know, I know. This is the star. The amazing Alna 550, absolutely beautiful. Comes with an extension table as well. <gasps> Comes with an extension table. All the bits and bobs that you need to make this work. Absolutely incredible. All of these five items here today in our heat wave deal, in our heat wave deal, I'm gonna pop that. It's just too much to get on on one table on one go. And we're getting this fabulous panel by Alison Glass, which I've shown you, these wonderful fat quarters, that gorgeous wadding, this lovely rotary cutter, and this incredible sewing machine for 479, 479 pounds. You're saving, you're getting free goodies worth over 51 pounds. This is what we're getting in all of this. Absolutely incredible machine, really great. And you'll see that I use these in my demos every single time, most of the time that I'm working with you, you can see all of these. They are such a great machine, really easy to use, really great as a beginner, as an intermediate, a really lovely, lovely machine, stitches beautifully, and you'll be able to see me working on that at nine o'clock. What's that? Oh my goodness! Sorry, I get very excited. Look, you've got all your stitches on that little pull-out card. Because on my little Janome, mine's a separate piece of plastic and that is somewhere in my studio. I haven't seen it for four and a half years. So if anybody knows where it is, let me know. <laughs> but now, do look up the, which one? Right. Okay. Mm hmm Right, okay. So, sorry, I know that didn't make any sense to all of you, but talk back, I'm getting all the information at the same time. Do have a look, if you are interested in this machine, have a little look online and be able to see the price comparison, because we're all savvy shoppers, you want to make sure you're getting a great deal, but you're getting this. All of these wonderful, wonderful, looking at all these wonderful items that are coming with it, and then the price here at four, five, Four seventy nine, dollars saving £51 with all these wonderful deals on our 550 today. I'm going to just slide this out of the way. Oh, are you going to do it online as well? They're very clever in that organised studio there. So what we're doing is they've looked all elsewhere, so we're going to now be able to show you. So that's the machine on its own without any extra goodies. And how much is that? Look there. Five hundred and thirty-nine pounds. Absolutely. We've got another one as well. We've got another one as well. I love the fact that they can do all these wonderful searches on there. Really clever. Love that. But I just love all the things that come with this. Got all these wonderful fat quarters. This panel. Oh, I just love this panel. The wadding. It's a nice way to be able to start as well, especially if you've never done free motion quilting. You can then do this and drop the feed dogs and do it with that wonderful wadding there. Oh, it's, a, it's really? This is the only machine that we offer for under 500 pounds. But looking at the price comparisons, look at this. Again, this is from Sewing Machines Direct. Oh, sorry, Direct Sewing Machines. And um, this one is 539 pounds. And that's with none of the wonderful extras that we're giving you here. So if you are thinking of getting into this, this is definitely the machine for you to start with. It is such a great machine and really, really, really going to help you along your quilting journey or your sewing journey of any kind. Absolutely lovely. And this is now our heat wave deal. Heat wave deals are going to be on all day today at the top of the hour and the bottom of the hour at zero and at 30. All the way through the day, we've had two already incredible deals. Creative Grids Ruler. We've had two different rulers. We've got the eight and a half by 24 and a half and the 12 and a half inch square. Did you just say single figures? 
Wow, so these have been selling incredibly well this morning, down to single figures on these. £45.98 for both of these rulers. And remember, you've got your £3.95 all day P&P, &P, so it doesn't matter if you buy the sewing machine and the rulers, and you buy them in two different transactions, one day P&P. &P. You don't pay any more than £3.95 for your postage and packaging throughout the day. Really, really great deal that they offer for that. So, now, most of you have already checked out on your charm packs. So what we're going to do is most of us, just before this beautiful heat wave deal that we had, we were going through this wonderful bundle of charm packs. But some of you may not have used charm packs before and don't quite know what to do with them. So Annie's Quilting has written the most wonderful little book. And we love Annie's Quilting. This is by, um, it's called Just Charms Quilts. You've got 11 charm friendly quilt patterns here. $8.99 for that book. And I hear lots of people, I've, I, I hadn't heard of Annie's Quilting until I'd come here. And they're really the most gorgeous little books. I absolutely love them. Oh, wow, look at that. And I love this because what they're doing is that they're making working with charms so much easier for you. And look at this one. You can then go and extend the life of your um, charm pack by then adding, um, where is it? Is that the backing? It's asking for four and a half yards of cream, which probably is about right, because that's a huge quilt. Yeah, that's uh, 68 inches by 83. That's enormous. But with one charm pack, you cut that into four, and you've got all these wonderful things. They're fab. Oh, wow, look at that. That really is fun. Oh, wow, curved seams. Terrified. But that is really pretty. Oh gosh, those cornered edges, they're beautiful. Not sure, oh wow, look, and they do make it look sort of prairie points. They look really good. Not sure I could do them though, we'll see. That's one day, one day. It's one of those things that you work up to. Oh, and I love the fact that it explains to you, oh, hang on. Oh, I can do this. It's raw edge applique, I can do that. I can't sew curved seams, but I can definitely do raw edge applique. That's brilliant. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's really, really pretty. And I love the different lines that you've got in that. And you can imagine with all these beautiful um, different colours that you're getting in the Le Beau Papillon um, collection here, creating your little lines along there would be gorgeous. And maybe you put a red background with it or a blue, or even a grey would be really pretty as well. I'm just seeing this grey here and thinking, gosh, that would work really well. Or oh, a festival quilt! Not for the Festival of Quilts, or for the Festival of Quilts. Oh, look at that. Gosh, that's very clever. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, and it's a big star. Stars and pinwheels. That's why it's called Charming Stars and Pinwheels, if I use my eyeballs. Look at that. Oh, that really is pretty. You're getting such great value for this for $8.99. Did I say 11 patterns? So 11 patterns at $8.99 divided by 11? Is that like 70 odd P a pattern? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's, um, oh, that's uh, foundation paper piecing. That's very clever. It's 81 P a pattern. Such a great price. And when you're looking at something so really interesting like that, so unusual, oh, that is really pretty. And what I like as well is they've done it as a small table runner or as a bed end, that would a bed cover at the edge of your bed. That is beautiful. Because sometimes people get a bit daunted by doing a massive quilt. Doing something small and really pretty like that is lovely. That's 80 inches by 16. Lovely, lovely size to be able to do that. Look at the quilting on it. Gosh, there's some clever people in this world. I was looking at this earlier. This I really like. Really, really interesting pattern being able to do those. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's 48 inches by 55. Um, is that, how many? So you'd need two charm packs for this quilt. Uh, no, 99, you'd need 99 five inch pre-cut squares. I suppose you could bulk that out by putting some, um, solids in there as well but you'd probably need three it's 42 yeah you'd need three of these for this quilt 
Oh, I love these. That's very sweet. Little tri um, trio pot pads. What a lovely little book. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, wow. You need, what's 192 plus 32? That's 194. 124 charm packs, uh, charm pieces for that one. That's quite a lot. So what's for, uh, 124 divided by 42? Shame, I'm making poor Hannah with her calculator. I can hear the clicking away. 124 divided by 42. Two point nine five. So you'd need three charm packs for that. That's not that bad because look how beautiful this quilt is. Look at that. They're huge. You'd need to add a border as well. But look how pretty that is. For three charm packs, getting that. That is such a lovely quilt. That. Oh wow. Oh, bring espresso. Yes, lots of espresso, please. With cookies. That'd be great. That'd be really nice. I wish I could press a button and espresso and cookies would just arrive. And the great thing is they've got a reference at the back here with basic techniques that you need for applique, borders, all that turned edge to applique, quilting, gives you an idea of what the terms mean. It's a really, really, really clever book, this, and such a great price. $8.99 available today. 11 different patterns in there to work with charm packs. Lovely, lovely book there. And don't forget, you've got our wonderful charm pack here as well. And these, I have to say, these are such beautiful, beautiful charm packs. Oh, we've got less than 30 of the charm packs left. Not surprised. They're such a great, great, great fabric collection here. I do love them. Where's my favourite little red? Oh, it's towards the top, isn't it? Love that. Do you know, I was looking at this colourway and thinking, gosh, this looks so much like French General. And it is French General! Goodness me, because French General is such a well-known collection by Moda. They use the same colours, collection on collection, but do all these incredibly different designs. The designs are so different each time, but they keep these wonderful traditional colours. And what I love is that the same colorway that they've used here they used three or four collections ago so if like me you might have little pieces of french general hidden around your studio or in your stash somewhere you can buy these collections now and merge them together because the colors work so beautifully together i think that's a really clever trick that moda have done is being able to keep all those colorways together um, and i know one of my clients actually only works with french general so chris there you go Wonderful charm packs and jelly rolls available for you today. Hope she's watching. So our mega bundle sold out earlier. We are 15 minutes away from our next heat wave special. I can't remember what it is, but it's really good. We've got such a great collection of them today. So our mega bundle sold out earlier. Perfect. Don't be silly. There's so much fabric, I'm just not sure what I'm putting on the, uh, on the set at the minute. So what we've done is we've got these wonderful jelly rolls and charm packs and mega bundles here. But we like to bulk out our really gorgeous fabric with some gorgeous coordinates. So these coordinates are available by the half meter. We've got five different colorways for you here. This one, by my recollection, is Cadet. Oh, I'm getting there. Oh, and it doesn't have a code on it. Oh, have you got the code? Perfect. Sorry, I thought I was reading codes out on these. So this is the gorgeous cadet colorway. Look how pretty that is. Such a lovely, lovely color. And don't forget, um, the color of the year was a blue. What was it called? I can't remember what blue it was called. True blue or something like that. That was our color of the year. And that is such a lovely colorway there. These are 100% cotton. And these are sold by the half meter. So if you need to buy two meters, you would buy four units. Um, and you just add four units to your basket and that would come to you as one two meter piece. So that's our cadet colorway. Then this one, is it sky? Hmm? Powder. I thought you said panda for a second then. <laughs> so very, papu very popular, oh my goodness. Very popular powder blue. Gosh, that came out in a bit of a tongue twizzler there. Because I said the word panda instead of powder. I do that all the time. Shh. 
And then we've got, is it chartreuse? No, it's not. Misty blue. You see, I don't see this as blue. I see this more as a green. So you've all seen how big a half meter is. This is the gorgeous misty blue available there, but I still think that's a bit more greeny. But they call it more, I'd call that Scottish heather green. There you go. There we go. My grandmother-in-law is going to be able to watch me soon. I can't wait. 98-year-old grandma, granny, I can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited. One day she's going to call in and phone the call centre and talk to the lovely people at the call centre and say, oh, I want to talk to my grandson. <laughs> this is the tan colourway here, also available by the half metre. £3.49 available there. Such a lovely, lovely colour, that. And then what's the next colour? Biscuit? Beige. Okay. Look at that. Really, really, really love that one. Again, the beige there is £3.49 by the half metre. And it's such a lovely colour because they work so well with the collection. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go through every single colourway because unfortunately we don't have the time. But what's so good is when I pull the whole mega bundle forward and I put that there, when I put that there, you can see how brilliantly, and if I move that that way, but you can see just by putting that there, these colours go so, so well with them. And I have to say, if I was picking a colour out completely, I wonder if I would do the beige because that beige works really, really well. But also the powder, you see the powder goes so perfectly with all of them. But equally, I do think that blue, but that's a bit more of a bold contrast. Not everybody's up for a bold contrast, but that misty blue as well. So you see, I think I'd probably go, I think I'm gonna do those two. I'm gonna do beige and misty blue as my colors to go with that. Sorry. I should, probably shouldn't be doing that, but it's, you can, I think it's always important, especially if you can't touch the fabrics and see the fabrics, being able to put the coordinates next to it and go like that. It's like that Knight Rider film that we used to have years ago. You'd be able to then go, which colour works best with it? So there we go. I probably completely ruined your viewing experience there. Apologies for that. If you're just joining us today with seeing me, I'm always like this. I'm really sorry. Now, we don't have a huge amount of time, so I'm going to be terribly selfish and I'm going to pick up my top favourite fabrics of this. That doesn't mean any of these are not beautiful. These, are, you know what it's like. You look at a collection and you're like, I want that one, that one and that one. Sorry. Everything that is available, do check out our website, www.sewingstreet.com. You'll come up with a wonderful YouTube bar. That'll be me going, hello. Underneath that, you'll have shop collection and you'll be able to then go beneath that and be, sorry, shop category. It just go beneath that and everything that's on the show today is all listed there in order so you'll be able to see every one of these colors but i have to say that i think that one is really beautiful and that one is ycw194 look at that see i just oh let me get that there isn't that just beautiful and you see around those flowers you've got that gorgeous teal colorway Look at that. So that is our, that is my, one of my favorites in this collection because I have several of them. Now, a little birdie is telling me that we're down to single figures in our charm packs. If you have got any charm packs in your basket, please make sure you check out. I don't want you to be losing out on having the fabric. You don't pay any more or any less by checking out multiple times during the day. So if you want a charm pack, we're down to single figures, don't lose out. So this code is NCW190. You can tell I've got a favorite in this way because I'm going to pull out every one in this colorway. Absolutely beautiful. So that's a little bit more pink than the background I pulled out earlier. This is the faded red background. But it's not a solid either. It's got sort of a, I want to say, a, it's, it's, can we show it on the over? Let me show you here because it's got this wonderful sort of spidery, you know when you've got a, a vein on a leaf, it's got a bit like that on the, 
on the fabric there. Do you see what I mean? But that's the great thing about mode of fabric is you've got this great quality design and that wonderful feature there. It's a really beautiful, beautiful um, way of doing that. And of course, I'm a huge stack and whack fan. So I'm just checking here. I'll tell you all about that now. The repeat is four and a half inches because I think it's important that people know that the, when you do a stack and whack, you need to get different repeats of fabric. And I'm actually thinking, oh, I might need to get a couple of meters of this to do one of those. And we've got eight minutes until our next heat wave special. Oh my goodness, look at this one. ATW159. Look at that. That is just so pretty. Really, really. This is the um, Lysandra on Oyster. £7.49 by the half meter there. But it's just such a fun design. Love these fabrics. I have to say, I do have the best job in the world because I get to play with all the fabrics. I love this. But I've also got to put them back in the same order, otherwise I get told off. No, I don't. Right, so we've got that same fabric in another colourway, UXW146. So this is a slightly lighter colourway. Absolutely lovely again. And again, that level of detail on the outline of the, of the flower, it is just so beautiful there. You can just see around the, each of those flowers, it's got this really dark red outline. Now remember, all of these half meters are available on the website. You can check out on each and every single one of these different colorways and get a much, much closer view on them. So remember, we've got our wonderful heat wave specials today. We've had our creative grid rulers, our um, two creative grid rulers here. We've got the square and we've got the rectangle. 12 and a half inch square, 24 and a half by eight and a half inch rectangles. These are down to single figures now. These are our very first heat wave deal. Because we didn't do any early birds today, we've got our heat waves. And these are such great value. Really, really good. And then our second heat wave we had was this wonderful 550 by Elna. Really beautiful sewing machine. You've got this um, wonderful crib sized wadding, 45 inches by 60 inches here. We've got our wonderful Allison glass panel that goes with that our fabulous Alpha rotor, rotary cutter, as well as our fat quarter collection here as well. And that's all available for £479. That's £51 worth of extras going with that. And we did a price comparison earlier and went cheaper by quite a lot. Even without the bundle. We're going to go to a little break now because our heat wave specials that we've got on today, that's going to be at the top of the hour. So we're going to have a little break now to redo the set and we'll see you at nine o'clock. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon.
Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides, suitable for all skill levels, to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back. I'm John Cole Morgan and it's so lovely to have you here. We've got our third heat wave special. What is a heat wave special, I hear you asking? So what it is, is we're all at home. We've got hotter temperatures, according to my Alexa this morning, than Ibiza, which is wonderful. So we have thought we'd bring you some incredible deals every half hour that we've got at the top of the hour, zero, zero, and at the bottom, 30. And we've got all these different incredible deals available just for you today. For you to be able to enjoy the sunshine. Sorry, I could smell the iron, but I just wanted to check I hadn't pressed it against anything. It's a bit awkward trying to get all these things together. Right, so the first thing we've got is that in this heat wave special, we've had two already. Really, really amazing. We've got these fabulous alphabet panels. Look at how beautiful these are. These are exclusive to Sewing Street. Look at these. Absolutely incredibly huge, different colours, different sizes, some capitals, some not. You've got your numbers. You've got all of those beautiful, beautiful colourways there. 
that's the first colorway there. And then we've got our second one and I can't fold these today for some reason. And then we've got this one, which is slightly different, but also so beautiful. Look at the different colors you're getting on that one as well. This is the traditional, is it serif? That must be the font. Traditional colorway there. Really, really sweet. And then lastly, but not least, which I actually think might be my favorite one of this collection, the next one coming up. Love those. But now you're not having to choose them because you're getting all three of them in this fabulous deal. Now this one, I absolutely look at that. Just the most gorgeous collection of greys there. Absolutely loving that. So if the panels aren't enough to entice you, there is also the incredible five meters of Bonderweb. All of these amazing, amazing panels, five meters of the Bonderweb available. That's the Violin Bonderweb, which is five meters by 30 centimeters. Completely transparent bond web. You're getting all four of these items there. You've got this beautiful, beautiful roll of bond web, which is on a roll as well, which I love because you've got it all there. All of that today available at the most incredible price of £31.96. You'll be saving £10 on all of these wonderful alphabet panels and there's five metres of bond web. Well, last time I bought five metres of bond web, uh, it was about £4.20 a metre. Go on, work that out. It is such a great, great saving there. And this is so, so versatile. You can use it on so many different projects. I use it for quilting, but look, they've got it all over their dressmaking and their jacket pockets and different things that you can do on this as well. I absolutely love working with Bonderweb. Really, really love it. And Violin, such a great company to be able to provide this really good. The quality of Bonderweb and Violin is well known by everybody who uses the product. Because once you've used it once, you're not going to switch. Love it. And you've got these incredible Sewing Street exclusive panels as well. And you've seen how beautiful they are as well. Now our next heat wave, heat wave deal is available at half past nine. So that'll be available there. I want to also, I'd love to hear from you. Drop us a message at our studio. We've got, are you watching the garden? How are you enjoying the sunshine? How are you enjoying your morning? If you want to drop us a line, you can get us at studio at sewingstreet.com. Um, that's the best way of getting hold of us. Otherwise you can contact us on the page, which is Facebook, which is facebook.com slash sewingstreettv. And there'll be a message uh, bar there that you can drop us a line. I actually don't know where to put these on the set because we've got so many wonderful things and I don't want to have it offset. There we go. I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to put the violin there. Now, we have, I, so yesterday, I don't know if anybody follows us on our social media platforms. I have been doing the gemology book and I am besotted. And we posted a little bit about it yesterday on our social media and we've had a message in already from Carol. Morning, Carol. Hi, John. I thought you'd, uh, you might like to see this cushion I made for my daughter-in-law's birthday. She has a February birthday, as does our grandson, hence the amethyst gems. And the son has, and son has a September birthday, so a sapphire was needed as well. The other picture is an aquamarine gem cushion. I love making these, and there are lots more in the pipeline. Take care. Carol, a.k.a. Granny Carol. Well, officially, I will call you Granny Carol forever. What a beautiful, beautiful message. And Carol, having done it, is it not the most addictive thing in the entire world? I absolutely, this is so amazing to work with. The book is called uh, Gemology. It's by Andrea, and I, I, forgive me, is it Sang? Sang? I, sorry, I don't, um, forgive me, Andrea. I'm going to call you Andrea TJ. Forgive me, I do not want to insult you or your, I, I'm so, so sorry, got your name wrong there. Angela, Beautiful, 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 beautiful book. Absolutely incredible. What I love most about this book, and I'm going to start at the back, is you've got all these templates, all foundation paper piece, but what I love about it is you've got the ability to do it 50%, 100%, 150 or 200. I think that's the wrong way around. 
Either way, you'll be, oh no, it isn't quite right, quite right, because what you can do is you put this on the photocopier. Now, when I did this, I had a major problem with the photocopier because I didn't quite know where I was putting it to expand and contract and everything. But once you get it right, it is so, so easy to do. You pop it on the photocopier, you expand it, print it the same size, shrink it down, and when you shrink it down, you can make them half that size, which is just incredible. So even if you don't want to um, uh, mess around taking things down, you can just do them that size. And this one then I think works out to four inches. This one is four inches. You'll see what I mean, because I've, I've expanded mine double. So you'll be able to see where I've done all of this. So for me, having this enormous collection of templates at the back for all the different sizes and different shapes is incredible. But my, I love the fact that they've put round block A3 and you've got round on the sides because what I did is when we were doing this, I had so much fun making these that I made a few of them and then phoned Haley and said, um, I've made, I've made three, two and a half rounds. I haven't made any of the hearts, all the radiance, all the cushion, all the princess that I'd planned to make because I just got so addicted to making the rounds. Now what does that mean I hear you saying? So let's start as I would with a normal book. So this is the heart. Now I've not seen a book like this before and I have to say I am completely and utterly head over heels in love with it. And the fact that we work together so closely with our sister company Jewelry Maker, uh, it, it was just a synergy that I couldn't, couldn't escape from. And you've got all the birthstones, you could do them the way Carol did. So what the main focus of this is, and it goes through, you just read through the book and it tells you exactly how you're doing it. When you're picking your colours and you're picking your backgrounds, it's really important to read these sections just to get ideas of what people are suggesting. It also tells you what threads they suggest that you use for the piecing, as well as what, pe what tools you need. And you can see these quarter inch rulers that we've got later on in the show, they come in really, really handy, as well as our roller and press our roll and press is also very different on that so they're on the website and it also tells you how to expand and make your blocks bigger and smaller it's a really really well written book that is for people who've never done it before all the information you need to make this is all available to you and then you start on the actual blocks so you can see you've got the heart you've got the round I think this is the cushion I'm going to go back and then just see so when you start out this page here is really important. So when you're doing your cutting out of your fabrics or you're doing your printing, print this page as well and print one per block you're going to do. And the reason being is this says to you, you need light, medium light, medium, medium dark, dark and background. So what I did was I then put my fabric in the order and it was in order, but of course I moved it all around. So my light fabric was at the top. Then I had my medium light. That's going the wrong way. Um, and then we've got the medium. And then we've got our medium dark. And we've got our dark. Now that makes sense when you see it, but when you're reading this, you're like, huh, what? Don't understand. And now the next thing is, is we've got these in bundles coming up. So I'll show you that in a little while, which will make it a bit easier because what we've done is we've actually made taken the hard work away from you and been able to put the bundles together for you. You'll see we've got the blue, we've got the purple, and I've got just shown you the pink. It really comes in handy having somebody take the hard work out of it for you. And you'll see how effective these blocks are. So I do think that page 25 in your book, you need to print this out as well uh, and stick these down. And what's important is just write down as well which block you're doing. I love having keys like this and I put these keys, I use loads and loads of plastic bags. So I always have a key like this with the fabric attached to it so I'll always be able to refer back to it, especially if you put something down and then come back to it a long time later. And what I love as well is it gives you an idea. They, um, I think they use Kona cottons. Um, I think it is because it's got K in the front. It is Kona cotton. Um, so what they do is Kona cotton. So they give you a color suggestion of the five colors that they would use for red, purple, aqua, gray, and black. And it gives you all these ideas, but it also gives you the Bella solids as well as the Andover color collection because Alison Glass does an Andover collection as well. So it gives you a nice color combination for all the different colors that you could use. So I think that's a really lovely feature as well to be able to do that. And doing the birthstone collection, 
and I'm jumping a little bit around and forgive me it's only because I've read the book so much um, I'll be able to show this to you as we go there we go so what you can do if you wanted to is that these can all be in birthstone colors so you could make six of the of the shapes in birthstone colors as you go down you can gradiate it down you can see this one they've done from a black all the way down to the lightest of greys whilst merging the colors all the way through this one they've done the rainbow colors and then they've done it the other way around it is a really really if you just like making the hearts and the pink and these different colors all in that way you can do them that way it's a really really clever way of being able to do it and again you can gradiate going from purple to blues so having this here i think gives you an idea of potentially where you can end up but again i'm jumping through the book forgive me but this gives you a really great color way and suggestion because I know people struggle with color but the fact that they give you the Kona color uh, the, the Kona cotton name and the skew to be able to go online and see what those colors are you can then pull from your stash to get something close to that and then we start on the shape so I started with the round um, and I can here's one I prepared earlier in purple Look at that, and look, it's bigger than my head. Of course, I, say, I went home and I said to my husband, I need a diamond that big. So I need to say that's not gonna happen. But look at how gorgeous this works out. And then when I put this next to the colorway here, you can see I have changed the colors ever so slightly to what's here, but look how well it works. And the great thing with this is that we've got bundles for this later, but it's also, you can do any color you like. I then of course adore blue. So I did a blue colorway as well. But if that's not enough, then I thought, you know what? Why don't I try it with a black background and use pinks as well? Because I absolutely adored the pinks. I drove Haley absolutely mad with all these different colors, but there we go, that's another story. But it is just such a beautifully use, um, useful book. Very, very versatile. And the great thing is it gives you different options on how to do it. Now, I do think, this is a question I get asked quite a lot when referring to foundation paper piecing. Foundation paper piecing is one of those arts that when you start it, it's terrifying because it is literally upside down, back to front, and you're sewing in a mirror. And that's the best way of putting it because it completely turns your head upside down. You are sewing, this is where, this is where you're actually gonna, this is the top of your fabric, your working space. So you've got the wrong side of your paper with the wrong side of your fabric going there. And then you've got the right sides of your fabric facing together and you're sewing it from the back. It's like, huh? So foundation paper piecing is one of those arts that it's once it clicks, you are addicted and you are absolutely besotted. And when you break this down, so you've got 12 pieces. So this is the first piece that you're doing. There, you've got two seams. All you've got is two seams, one there and one there. And then you fold that back and you trim it. And that's it, th this piece is done. And that is that block there. So that's the first piece. Then your second piece is pretty much similar, but you're then doing that. So it's not hard that you've only got six, you've got five seams in the first one, six seams in the second, and three seams in the third. So it's not hard, it just takes a little bit of concentration. And when you break it down little bit by little bit, because you can see that's the back of these, you can see it is so much easier when you look at it and you think that's only got two seams in it. This has only got four, one, two, three, four, five, no. One, two, three, that's only got four seams in it. That's got five seams in it. So each segments have got six, 11 seams in it. And then you sew these two together, so that's 13. When you look at something so effective, to think that that's only got 13 seams in it and look how effective that is, it just takes a, a bit of understanding and a little bit of time. But once you've wrapped it around your head, you are A for away and you will not be able to stop. So that's the round. Then we've got the heart. And it's just, this is, I, I was so addicted to this. And then we've got the trilliant. And then we've got the radiant. 
Now remember, all of these can be increased and decreased. If you do this 200 times the size of the template, you're going to end up with a 24 inch block. If you do it 100% 100 of what it is, you're gonna be getting a 12 inch block. I did 150, so I got an 18 inch block. And if you did it at half, you could get that whole block there would be six inches, which is a bit mad. Six inches is just incredible, but look at that. Such a beautiful, beautiful block. And again, really, really simple when you just break it down and do it bit by bit. And we've got the princess cut and the teardrop and the mar mar marquis, marquis, marquis. Oh, and the oval is really good as well. And then we start going into the different projects that they recommend. I adore door that because you're doing them different sizes so you've got that different play area of being able to do it which I love you can do a small little gemstone purse as a small little piece 50 inch 50 percent of what it is normally gives you the full ways of making the purse if you want to make a statement piece with with four um five different pieces you can do them all in different colors that's easily done as well and then you've got the treasure chest, which I adore. And you can do them all in the same, or you can do them all different. You can add some in as you go. It's entirely up to you, which I love about this book is you can do them however is easiest for you. Perhaps you don't like the idea of doing that one. You don't have to, you just leave it out and leave it as blank space. Then we've got this one, which I think is absolutely stunning. You've got that central section and then 12, You've got, you could do a central piece there and then you've got the 12 that go around in a circle all around it. It's a really, really clever way of using your fabric and creating these incredible things. That is a little jeweled collar and there your quilting will show out so beautifully in however you want to do this. And then last but not least, you've got the extra chart and it gives you different ideas of how to be able to do this. And you could do an emerald, blue teal, aquamarine, and you can color these. So that one would be that one, that one, that one, that one there. And you can see you can just gradiate down using these colorways in all of these to be able to get that staggered effect, which you can see from there. So all your different members of your family's birthday, you could do these as a family quilt and be able to do, you know, all the different people in your family, you could do all the birthstones in a different colour and do, if you've got five or six of you in the family, you could then put all six of you down as your favourite stones and go all the way down. It's a beautiful, beautiful book and an easy way of being able to create something really, really special and very, very unique. And now we've got 10 minutes until the next heat wave. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you the bundles that you're going to getting. So let's start off with the pink one. Now you're getting a half meter of each of these colors. Now when I, I'm gonna show you these colors first and how much you're getting. So each one of these, you're gonna get a half meter of the fabric. So this is what each one of them will look like. That is what it is, half meter, 42 inches um, this way to this way, and then a half meter down. That's what each and every single piece of the colors are that I'm gonna show you. So this first bundle is our pink bundle colorway. And the pink tourmaline luster gemstone fabric bundle. You've got five together here, so you can see this one will be deemed your dark, medium dark, medium, light, uh, medium light, and your light. Now, I only mention that because that is what is, um, I think I'm gonna, there we go, there we go. One day I'll get this in the right place. So the reason I mention that is because that is what the colorways ask for in the magazine. Now, a lot of people always say, so how much fabric will it use? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how much fabric I cut out of each one. So I cut, yes, I cut that width of fabric out of each piece of my fabric. So if I show you, so I've shown you the half meter, what that looks like. This is what I was left with. Okay, that's what I was left with, plus that. That's what I was left with, making one. So I think it's really important as well, because when you're looking at these bundles and you're thinking, ooh, how much fabric would I need? How much would I not? The bundle is going to give you a huge amount of fabric. So I, in my, look, you use more of one color in one than the other. So this one I'm recommend, you'd probably be able to get 
eight gemstones out of the light colorway. So if you look between six and eight gems, the big ones at 150 inches, you then will be able to then get a rough idea of what you're gonna get in the bundles. The background fabric, I would always say get a meter, meter and a half, because it's always easier having more. You can add borders, you can then put more on the binding, you can do all different things. So I would recommend getting a meter and a half, two meters of the background and one of these bundles, and that will give you more than enough fabric to be able to play with the different ways of doing it. So that was the pink tourmaline. And as you can see, the pink ice, I paired with the black because you can see that it just gives that little bit of extra pop on it. Um, it doesn't mean the white wasn't going to work. I just really liked the idea of using the black on it because it gives that real statement power piece on it. Then we've got our purple colorways. What have we called this one? The amethyst collection. So there we've got our dark. Oh, there we go. That's our dark, medium dark, medium, medium light, light. So when you come to do this in the book, that's the way that that's going to then calibrate into your little book post on that. And then last but not least, we've got our blue colorways here. And then again, this will be dark, medium dark, medium, medium light, light. So this is the blue sapphire luster gemstone combination there. And also, a case, it's such a great price for all of those. You're getting two and a half meters of each of those fabrics. You might want to get all three and have a play. Check out our website as well, because we've got, if you type in cotton 100, normally you'll be able to then see all of the cottons that we've got available. So maybe you want to make up your own colorways as well. All of the fabrics there are available, 349 by the half meter. Our background colors that we've got available for you today, just as a suggestion, we've got loads of different colors there. We've got, is this? Dark grey. So we're doing our dark grey first. This is such a lovely colourway. And again, you can tell with that dark grey, I'm holding now the blue colourway with it. If I put that there, you can see that dark grey really works well with that colourway. It's such a universally neutral colour that works so, so well with virtually every colourway. So that's the dark grey. Then we've got our white. Our white colorway, you can tell then on my blues that I used previously, you can see the white pops absolutely beautifully on the blues. And it also pops really, really well with the purple colorway. The white is a really nice, clean finish on it. So the, the white is also available then, 349 by the half meter. But as I've said as well, look how well the black pops. You've got that gorgeous black available and look how well it pops on that. It is such a nice way of being able to get that really bold contrast on that as well. Also available there for the by the half meter. And we've now got seven minutes until our next heat wave. Very, very excited. We've got our three alphabet panels at the moment with the violin. Uh, five meters of violin was it? Five meters of violin and our three alphabet panels as well. This is available now, what was it, 30? 3196 was it? 3196 is our second, our third heatwave deal today. So make sure you check that out. So we will carry on doing this. Now, one thing that we do have available, which I actually do think is a really lovely feature. If you are going to be able to do your photocopying with the panels here from the back of the book, you just pop this onto your photocopier and then print. When you're doing, the, oh, my little demos. Sorry, everything's falling over. What is really, really nice is this Carol Doak um, foundation paper piecing paper. This is a really, really great paper to be able to use for foundation paper piecing. And it comes as a pack of 100. They're slightly smaller than an A4. It's eight and a half inches by 11. But what's so nice about it is it's got such a lovely feel to it. I've just used normal computer paper. Now, there's nothing wrong with normal computer paper, but you are going to have the problem that your needle will blunt. Uh, when you're using your rotary cutter through this, your rotary cutter blade will blunt a lot more than using this wonderful paper. But this really does tear very well. It's a lot more stable. It's nowhere near as slippy either, because when you're joining your pieces together, the feed dogs of your sewing machine, when you've got a really um, shiny copier paper, your feed dogs struggle to pick those papers up together and be able to sew the pieces together. So you will find you'll struggle a bit more with copier paper. But this is such a great paper by Carol Doak. It's a really, really great way of being able to just help your 
process along. You can use this on any photocopier, you can use this on any printer, so if you do want to be able to use this, you're not going to have a problem. It feeds through the photocopier, no problem at all. Read, oh, there we go. Um, so it does feed through any photocopier really, really comfortably. So if you are going to, a, perhaps you're going to a, a printing shop or something, they can very easily print that for you on this paper. Otherwise, just use your normal um, printing machine at home. That will easily be able to work. So that is a really good way of doing it. I also use these at a quarter inch rulers. You're getting both of these at a quarter inch rulers together. You've got the 12 inch one and the six inch one. Both of these available together for $24.99. And it is a really, really nice way, and I've lost my, there it is over here. Um, I can actually show you very quickly over here. I love these quarter inch rulers because everything you want to keep, you're going to pop underneath your ruler. And then you add your quarter inch along the way. I've got that the wrong way around. And what you do is you can see that you've got this ridge on your add a quarter over there. You can see you've got a little ridge there. That ridge pushes up against where your paper is and you hold that nice and firm and then you can trim off. Oh, I'm using the wrong rotary cutter, that's why. Let me get that lined up again. And you then just cut off what you need. And you can tell I've been doing this for quite a while, which is why my edges aren't quite as long on that end. You'll be able to see all of this later on in the demo. I'm just showing you very quickly on this because this is such a nice, nice ruler to be able to do. And then we've got everything's ready to be pressed then and be able to be used. So that add a quarter inch ruler really, really helps to be able to keep everything nice and neat and it's a nice way of being able to use it. So this ruler, I do think, helps a lot with regards to your foundation paper piecing journey. So do check these out, really, really lovely then. So what I'm gonna do, do you want me to just cut this up first? It's so one minute. Okay, cool. So we are now at our fourth heat wave deal. Eee, very exciting, we've had three already. What's my deal for now? Huh? Now, Sewing Street does the most incredible, exclusive fabrics. I love these. And what we've done is we've got these design rolls available. We've got five different design rolls, and I love this one because these are our 27 and a half um, inches, but they're in 27 and a half inches by two and a half, and you can see they are all different designs. All the different designs on here are so fun and really, really unique. Are we going to look at them? And you can see each one of these, you've got different designs here. You've got like a little sun, moon, and stars and you've got all these different designs on there. It's such a great day. So you're not getting the one panel, you're getting a really great collection there. And those have got two different sets on there, 27 and a half inches by two and a half. You've then got a second one. Oh, there we go. So that's, that um, graphic now shows you all five of them together. Uh, you're getting all five of these different strip sets together. All five of those such a huge bargain on that. So you've got five different panels of them and you'd be saving 20 pounds getting this. That's 44 pounds 95. Saving 44 95, it's 44 pounds 95 for those five bundles, saving you 20 pounds. Don't forget you've got your three pounds 95 all day, one day PNP. Won't pay any more or any less by checking out multiple times through the day. And they've got those. A really great deal, and this is our heat wave deal, our fourth one of six. Really, really lovely little deal that, so make sure you check those out on the website. So we've got all of our heat wave deals, we've got our gemology things, we've got to check out all of our bundles now as well, and now we're going to carry on with our demo. So very, very simply with each of these, you're going to set your seams, you're going to set your seams as you go, and then very gently, now this is one thing with foundation paper piecing, everybody does get a bit trick, uh, stuck on. So what I'm going to show you here, really close up on this, is when I pull this, 
that is perfect. You can see that's perfect to press like that. So if I press my nose on there, that is perfect. And by that, what I mean is your stitch line, you can't see your stitches. But if I pull like this, you can see your stitches just there. That is not what you want. And you don't want that either, where you've got a little lip. So you're trying to find that balance where you haven't got your stitches showing and you haven't got an overlap. You just want a nice, taut, but not tight, crisp edge where you just do that. Same on this edge, you're making sure you've got a nice, crisp edge, but no stitches are visible. And what's really important about that is that if you don't get that quite right, when you're joining these all together, over, and I can show you perfectly on my purple one, if you haven't got it perfectly lined up, you can see over here, you can see that it hasn't lined up perfectly. So part of that issue is, I have a little bit of a lip on this one over here. So that causes your seams not to line up perfectly. And over here as well, you can see I've got a little bit of a lip on there. And that does not, that just means that you potentially miss a seam, which isn't a big problem, but it just, if you're spending all this time trying to do it, might as well just spend that little extra moment making sure that everything's as lined up as it can be. So once you've now sewn those two pieces to get those three pieces together, you're going to now do a quarter of an inch seam down the way. And then all of these pieces do not throw away because you can use them for your next foundation paper piecing project. I do think a rotating cutting mat will come in so handy for you if you're doing this process. These I don't think come anywhere, so they go in our charity box. And the other good thing is, is depending on the height of your ruler, you can use the slightly smaller 28 mil rotary cutter as well, which I love, especially for foundation paper piecing. Now I do think those are too small for foundation paper piecing, so they go in the charity box. And when you're doing these, make sure you follow the line to be able to trim these edges because when you can see I've got this dotted line as the line that I'm following, you want to make sure that you trim those edges because when you come to line these all up, you want to make sure that you've got those perfectly lined up to be able to do it. Because you can see on another one that I did earlier, you've got these squared edges over here. And what happens is when you're sewing these together, you need to make sure that those squared edges then match up perfectly. So now I'm gonna show you how it is you make this last little section. So the colors that I need are a medium. I need a medium dark two mediums, a medium light, and two backgrounds. Now, automatically, I can hear you all going, huh? So, let me show you. I've got this wonderful little color combination here. So, I know this is my background fabric, okay? So, I know for that little piece five, for that little piece five over there, that is more than big enough. Foundation paper piecing, top tip ever, cut three times bigger than you need because you'll always use the off cuts on another project. Always cut it bigger than you think you need because you will struggle. You can always, you can't, you can always cut away, but you can't add on. So that piece there, when I come to sew that bit on there, I'm not gonna have enough because of the angle. Because when you're putting this on, you're lining that up there. So if I fold on that sew line, oh, that will work. But I'm going to, this is, where, this is where the fun task is. You can then decide. Now, I love using a light box for this process because I'm going to have to put this as light, as bright as possible. Sorry if that doesn't work well with your screens. Um, right, so the first one I'm cutting is a medium light. So that's my medium light piece over here. So what I do is I put, I put my fabric 
underneath the light box, uh, underneath, so you can see that that line over there, that's the medium light that I need. So I don't need that big a piece. So when I've got my, I need a quarter of an inch all the way around. So if I cut from there to there, if I fold that, now I have used rotary cutters for a very long time and I've done this process multiple times. I do not recommend you do this unless you are incredibly versed with a rotary cutter. So what I do is I cut out my piece and then I put it on to check it's going to fit. So that piece is going to fit for my medium light. Very happy with that. Now I've got my medium, so I know this is my medium fabric. So I'm then going to cut my medium piece for there. And I check that that medium piece is going to fit and it will. So that's my medium piece, but I need two medium pieces. So I'm going to cut another piece. And again, I'm rotary cutting like that because I'm very used to it. Now that could potentially be a bit small for a beginner. So or I would cut that a little bit bigger if you're a beginner and because then you can cut down, but I feel comfortable with that. And I've got my number five. So my medium dark, now I go back to my panel just to check my medium dark. This is my medium dark. So I know my medium dark is this block over here. So I need to work out how much I need to cut. So I'm going to do from there. Whoop. Again, I've been doing this for many, many years. Please don't do it if you're not comfortable. Um, and then I check the size I need to do. So I'm going to leave that bigger because it's just easier having a bigger piece. And then I need, I'm going to use that black piece because I know it'll work and I'll show you how that works. So the first thing is I know I need six pieces of fabric. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the first thing. So what I did when I made these, I've had 12 different pieces. I cut out my 12 pieces took a pin and I, st and I pinned them all together and then I know that's my A1 block, ready to go. So that is my top tip on that. Get all your blocks together, cut your pieces of fabric out, ready to go. It just makes your life that little bit easier. Now I start sewing. So with these, I now put these in the number. So I know that's my medium dark. I know that's my medium. I know that's my medium, I know that's my medium light, I know that's my background, and I know that's my background. Now the reason I do that is I know it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That just makes your life so much easier because you always start from the left and go to the right. So my background piece of number one, I just need to put that in and I keep my light box out and check that that's all lined up. Then I'm ready for number two. And then I press on the seam line just to see where I'm supposed to be sewing. So I put that there. I know I'm going to be sewing on that line. Everything over here beneath that line I'm going to get rid of. Fold that back and I can check that that's going to work. Now that may not make sense to you at the minute. So what I'll do is I'll stitch a piece and you can see what I mean. Your stitch length needs to be about 1.8, 1.5 around there. The reason you want a smaller piece, a smaller stitch length is it's going to help you to tear your papers off at the end. That's going to come in really, really handy at the very end of the process, taking all your, your papers out. So you can pin this, you cannot. I have been doing it for many, many years, so I'm very happy not pinning. And all I'm doing now is I'm leaving my needle right in the very center of my sewing machine. If you want to use an open toe foot, that's fine. I personally prefer just using my normal sewing foot, an A foot, and I just sew on the straight line and I'll show you where I've stitched. So that's the A, that's the number one, that's number two and all I've done is I've stitched on that line in between them. So you can see I've stitched on that line there. Then everything I want to keep is going to go underneath my ruler and everything I'm getting rid of is on that side of my ruler. Light, get that quarter inch right up tight. 
and then I get rid of all of that. Then I get my June Taylor ready, because I do this in my studio as well. I have my cutting mat, sewing machine, ironing board. So all in one space, so I've got the smallest circle, the smallest triangle available. So there we go, I'm setting that seam. And just like I did with the, other, the last one, I'm gonna push that back ever so slightly. I don't usually use steam on this, and I'll turn the steam off, you won't either. And the reason you don't want to use steam is because you don't want to be stretching the fabric or stretching the paper. So I've now done one to two. I'm now going to do number three. So I know number three is over there. That's nice and flat. I'm going to turn this until I get to my seam that I'm about to stitch on. And I'm going to line that up perfectly there. Fold that back and then this piece should be in that section to check that I've got enough. I've got my quarter inch seam there. And now I do the same again. Now I went a lot quicker than probably you will. That's your call. You do it and it goes with confidence and with how many times you've done it. You take as long and short as time as you need. I'm going to now take my quarter inch ruler, folded everything I'm going to keep underneath my ruler. And there we go. So I'm keeping that one. And I think these two are too small, to, so they go to the charity bin. And again, I press that there. Set my seam, roll that over. And there we go. Perfect. So that's three seams, only two to go now. I'm going to fold that over. I'm now doing number four. So I can see where my seam line is for number four. I can then put my next piece of fabric on, rotate that back and check it's going to work. I'm a little bit shy. And there you go. So I can see that my fabric's poking out there and I can see that it's working over here as well. I now sew on my number three to four line. There we go. Then everything we want to keep, you fold back and goes underneath your ruler. Everything you're going to get rid of is on that side of your seam line. And you just trim it off. Now, that piece I would keep, the others I think are too small. Off to charity they go. Now you can see when you get going, you get into a lovely rhythm and you do just flow through it. You don't need to ever think, you just kind of get to that pace where you just keep going. Now, the only reason this isn't gonna work is because you've cut your piece of fabric too small or you've sewn on the wrong line. I've been doing this for many years. I've written patterns about this. I still cut my pieces too small and sew on the wrong line. That is fine. I keep a nice packet of biscuits ready and available or chocolates. Or if I'm at home and I'm not driving, I'll have a little gin and tonic waiting. I'll say some very unpleasant words and I'll just get my seam ripper out, drink my gin and tonic and that's it. So I suggest you have a little bag of sweets, whatever your, your secret little temptation is that is not going to do any harm to you. But you can treat yourself when you've made a little mistake. Have your little bar of chocolate or whatever you need. And when you've done it right, have a little bar of chocolate or whatever you need. Right or wrong, eat the chocolate. And I will say this quarter inch ruler does help. Now those I think are too small, off they go. And now we've only got one seam left to go. I set my seam over there and I rotate this over. And there we go. And now we've got our last seam. Now, this one I'm gonna pay a little bit more attention on because I haven't cut my piece as wide as I could have or as big as I could have. So what I'm doing there is I've folded my seam line. I'm gonna now press my fabric before I use it only because my piece is not quite as big as it could be, which is why you always cut bigger than you need. I'm just being very lazy. So all I'm doing now is I'm putting that, knowing that that seam line is there. Oh, that is very tight. 
But I feel confident I can do that. And that's what happens. You get a little bit of confidence on it and there you go. You're using much smaller pieces than you need. Watch me have sewn it upside down or something. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was a little bit worried as I said that. Right, so everything you're going to keep goes underneath this piece of paper and under your ruler. Put the ruler on, line that quarter inch all the way up there. And you cut everything else off. So you can see that was how much fabric I had left over from that piece I thought was going to be too small. And at that point, put that on there. Set my seam and you roll it back. Now you're gonna do 12 of these blocks. As I said, this is the one with the most seams in it. So when people ask me, is this something a beginner can do? Well, that's up to you. Do you feel confident being able to sew six seams, five seams? And if you do, then you're fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I don't need the ironing board for a few seconds. I'm gonna put that on the floor. So I'm now lining up my quarter inch along there. And now you're taking a tiny little piece of paper off. That's absolutely fine. I do think these rotating cutting mats do make your life a lot easier when you're trimming these blocks down. I know not a lot of people use them, but if you are ever looking for them and you do think to yourself, what would I ever use that for? Well, foundation paper piecing, because look, it's so much easier. I don't have to move everything. I don't have to move anything. And it is on that perfect angle because sometimes when I line this up and I'm not quite feeling confident cutting it, just rotating it that ever so slightly means I get a cleaner cut and I'm a lot more comfortable with that. Oh, we've had a message in from Carol. Hello, Carol. Is that the same as Granny Carol? Different Carol. Hello, Carol. Morning. She's saying good morning, John. Oh, she loves FPP. Me too. She what on the back of the template? Oh, she traces the line from the back of her template to be able to make it easier to place the fabric. What a clever idea. I love that. What I love about the community is that everybody who's got good tips like that, you share them and it just makes everybody's life so much easier. Oh, we've had a message in from Tina. Hi, Tina. She's loving the heat wave deals. Me too. Oh my, Tina, my husband. Tina has said she's loving the heat wave deals and just repeat, loving the deals and John because they're both hot, Tina. You should have gone to Spec Savers, my love. So there we go. <laughs> Tina, that's very kind. Thank you for watching. So what you're doing now is you're going to have three pieces like that. You're now going to sew these two pieces together. And this is where I said to you earlier, the Carol Doak fabric, uh, for the, fa fa yeah. the Carol Doak foundation paper piecing paper comes into its own here because the, <clears throat> the, when you're trying to put these through your sewing machine, it is a little bit harder when you're just using normal copier paper because everything's a bit slippy. Now, when you're doing these, it's entirely up to you. If you want to pin them, you can watch my block of the weeks as to what I think the best way of pinning these are. Exactly the same technique. I prefer to do it not pinning because everything's stable with the paper. Oh, slow down. You're very fast today, my little 550. It's because you're a heat wave deal, isn't it? Anyone else talk to their little sewing machine when they're working on it? I know I do. And there we go. We've now sewn that together. And now at this point, many of you who've watched my demos before will know I love pressing everything open. Especially with foundation paper piecing, you get large chunks of fabric together. When you get to the point of joining the blocks together, I definitely think you need to press your blocks open, your seams open. And the reason being is that you've got a huge wadge of fabric. And if you haven't got them all pressed together, then it's going to be a problem. 
in um, getting that done. Here we go, get that nice and flat. Oh my, excuse me while I hit every single point along the way. And then what I'm doing now is I've sewn those two together there. I'm going to put these lined up. Now remember I said to you, you trim your edges off. These line up perfectly there and there. And this bit here, the point of that triangle, needs to hit your seam over there. It is so important that you get that right. And then when I'm sewing it, I fold that round so that I get my open seam to the top, because otherwise it's, um, you, there's a chance of folding that seam open. And now you're only two seams away from finishing this block. So now I've got those two together, or those three together, should I say. You now do exactly the same thing. You press the seam open. If you can give your seams a little bit of a set your seams moment, do so. And then you rotate this back. Now with, her, with this one, you don't have to leave your seams open. The only thing I would say to you is if you look there, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six pieces of fabric there. Over here, you've got nine pieces of fabric. It's just, you've got a huge amount of bulk in one, one single section if you don't press your seams open. So I just think that it's certainly with foundation paper piecing, you've got lots and lots of layers on top of one another. And if you press your seams open at this point, it does make mean that you've got slightly less layers throughout the whole process. I just think it's a lot easier doing it that way. Have I got time to sew these three together? I've got two minutes, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So what you would do is you will now sew these two together, literally just putting these back together, sewing down that line there, and then once those two are sewn together, all that would happen next is you pop those on there. And then when you pull, when you get to the point that you've got one all ready to go, if you're going to be doing it into a quilt, now my, my preference is that I leave my papers in until my project's finished. And by finished, I mean all my borders are on and the process is done. The reason being, everything is on the bias. Every single angle is on the bias. And if you take all the papers out and put it in the bottom of your bag and it gets folded, it stretches, if you leave your papers in and you put it at the bottom of your bag, it's got that extra bit of um, security. So for myself, every project I do for foundation paper piecing in is I leave these to the very, very, very end. Last border on, absolutely fine. Then I sit in front of the television and I pull every single piece of paper out and I have a little snowstorm all through the living room. So that's my top tip is leave them in till the very end because I don't know if these are going to be cushions. I don't know if this is going to be part of a quilt. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. I think they're just lovely as a wall hanging. I want to make them into earrings. It's really, really great. So what we've done here today is, and you can see, oh, and the only other last little tip is plastic baggies. Everybody has a thing about plastic baggies. I collect all my plastic bags because I have a different plastic bag for every color that I use for foundation paper piecing. Yes, I really do. And what I do is, especially when I've got a project, like I know that, Sorry, this is exactly how I do it at home, so I'd rather show you. That is my fabric all ready to go in one bundle for that. So keep your plastic bags, keep them all together, and don't forget we've got these fabulous three bundles here available. Oh, the book, sorry. We've all been working out of this wonderful gemology book available today by Ange uh, Andrea Sang Jackson. Forgive me if I've said that wrong. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. Incredible different gems that you can make out of that. Foundation paper piecing at its finest. You've got all these incredible different templates. You can do them to four different suggested sizes. Six inch, 12 inch, 18 inch or 24. That's by shrinking it by half, printing as it is, increasing by half or increasing by double and there are so many different quilts available in here. I think there are six different project suggestions in here, but the way they've done it, there are hundreds of different ways of being able to create this quilt. Such a beautiful book, Gemology by Andrea Singh Jackson. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a few minutes.
Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there, otherwise message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved and it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to give you my top tips on how I go about enjoying my sewing experience. My first top tip, as everybody knows, rotary cutter safety. If you're not using it and it's not on the mat, that blade must be locked. Please be safe. My second top tip is always buy more fabric than you need. If you don't have it, it's always going to sell out. You're going to struggle to find it and when you do, it's going to cost you a lot more than when you were going to buy it originally. So buy it all. You always regret the bit you didn't buy. My next tip is Positive or negative, always listen to the advice and opinions of other people. Even if you ignore them, everybody has a different perspective, everybody has a different take on things, and it might help you along the way. The next top tip I have is always buy the most expensive and the most useful and the most practical for your brain product that works for you. Some people prefer different things, buy what works for you. And my last tip is, this is fun, this is enjoyable, and make sure you are enjoying it. Because there's nothing worse than carrying on with something and hating it and not enjoying it. You need to make sure that you're having fun.
Those are my top tips and how it is that I enjoy my sewing experience. I hope they help you because they have helped me. For more handy tips and demonstrations, make sure you watch us on our Freeview channel 74, Sky channel of 670, otherwise follow us on YouTube on Sewing Street where you can catch up on past demonstrations and shows. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. I'm John Cole Morgan and top of the hour, heat wave deal. We're hotter than Ibiza, according to Alexa this morning. So welcome. Um, because of, we've got the, hot, the beautiful heat wave and all the wonderful, beautiful deals that we've got on for you today and the temperature, we thought, you know what, we're going to give you a whole load of fantastic deals to be able to help you along with your sewing journey and all the different products we've got today. So our fourth, is it our fourth or fifth? Fifth. Eight, yeah. This is our fifth deal that we've got for you today. A whole collection of fat quarters. Absolutely stunning fat quarters here. Three different types, all available for different products, different ways of being able to do your sewing journey. So you've got your purple flower, floral fat quarters, your red and natural flower uh, fat quarters, and your printed red fat quarters. I'm not sure which one's which on those. So is this the floral one? Perfect, good. They are such a lovely combination of fat quarters here. Let me show you what you're getting. So all of these fat quarters are 45 centimeters by 54. All together, buying all three, you're gonna be saving 10 pounds. They're available today for 25.97. Oh, wait, there we go. Look at these, they're such gorgeous colors. Look at that one. They are just so fun. Really, really vibrant, great, great colors. And you're paying, oh, equivalent of one pound, how much? One ninety nine a fat quarter, such a great price on that. So those are the 100% cotton ones there, are they? Yep, 100% cotton there, 45 by 55 inches, centimetres, not inches. There's a problem with being quilty, you do metric one minute and imperial the next. So the next ones you've got here are the red florals. Oh, these are so fun. These I think are more for home wares. Oh, there's five of them. Look at those. Aren't they just so fun? These would be great for homewares, for making bags. Lovely feel to this. I'm actually just looking at this one and thinking I'd make myself a nice little dishcloth out of that. It's got a beautiful feel to it. Love these. I never have too many different things in the house. Gorgeous, gorgeous colorways there. So that's our second uh, fat quarter bundle here. And then we've got this incredible fat quarter bundle here with jute in it as well, which I love the jute. It's got such a gorgeous smell to it. So you've got this wonderful piece of jute there. And then you've got these lovely, lovely linens. Beautiful, they're almost Christmassy. Oh, Santa's coming. And then this lovely little gingham print as well. So these are the four different fabrics you're getting on these. Such a great, great, great combination of colors and designs and different fabrics here. And that's £1.99 per fat quarter there. So that's our 10 a.m. heatwave bundle deal. So we've got a fabulous collection there of deals for you today. Make sure you check out the other deals that we've had on previously. They're all available while stocks last. There's only one more heatwave deal to come, and that's at half past 10. So do hang around checking on that. Now, we just finished our gem hour. Oh, because the good thing is we've got our jelly rolls as well from Moda that we had in earlier. And you know when you just open a jelly roll, you get that little bit of fluff. I love that. Get that little bit of fabric dust everywhere, which I love. Now, not only are you getting these, which are such a fabulous combination of colors, um, but you're also getting these for the gem deal. This is the book that we were looking at, the Gemology book earlier. So check that back out when you get to watch this on repeat. But you've got all these wonderful color combinations um, going from dark to light. So we've got this in the pink. So it doesn't need to be for the gem collection. You can do these just as buying fabrics and, and building up your stash. Such a great, great deal. Lovely, lovely combination of colors here, going from a dark pink all the way up to a light pink. Half a meter of each one. Let me show you what half a meter looks like. This is the same size for all of the colors that I'm showing you now in our bundle. So this is the amount of fabric you're getting with each and every single one of these colors. 
So in the five fabrics that you're getting of the pink, that's how much you get from each one. Such a lot of fabric. And when I was making this in the Gemology quilt, you'll get between six and eight um, gems out of each colorway. Just so that you know if you're going to get a rough guide of what you're doing. So that's our pink colorway that we've got there. $16.99 there for, for five half meters. I was going to say for five meters. That's not right. So we've got that available there in our wonderful pink colorway. Then we've got our, is it blue or purple? We'll do our blue colorway. These are so beautiful. They really, really pop so, so well. A great, great price point there and lovely, lovely fabrics. All 100% cotton. These are going from a really dark, beautiful navy all the way up to a beautiful powder blue. $16.99 again there for um, five half meters. And whether these are going to work for your gemstones bundle or whether just adding to your stash. Such a great, great price there. Really, really lovely way of being able to add to your stash there. And such a great price and great quality. And last but certainly not least in our little gems bundle, we've got this wonderful purple color combination. These again going from a really dark purple up to a really light beautiful purple there, beautiful colorways in between. $16.99 as well, also two and a half meters, five half meter bundles there. What was that? Oh, we're limited on the purple. Not surprised, really beautiful color combination there. We had our gems book on earlier, our gemology book earlier, so that was probably why that that's gone limited. So next we have, and I've not seen this yet, so I'm going to try not to geek out all over the place because they just snuck this in before we went on air and said, oh, that's new. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Right, Tula Pink. Everybody knows who Tula Pink is, hopefully. If not, Google her. She is amazing. I adore her fabrics, her designs, her quilts, and... Now her Oriful collection. We had a collection, was it 20 Orifuls with her last week, with a handmade collection. We now have a brand new Oriful variegated um, Tula Pink collection. This is the premium Oriful thread, all 50 weight, 10 spools, 200 meters of each spool. But look, they're all variegated. They are so, so incredible. I'm gonna pull these out because the colors are just beautiful. I'm going to, oh, there's one here that's open. Look at that. I adore these color combinations here. So for the variegated threads, usually what I'd be doing is if I was doing a lot of piecing of different colors of fabric, I would use it for that, or I would be doing it for when I'm actually doing the quilting process. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. <coughs> Really sorry about that. You know what it's like when you talk for a long time and you get a frog in your throat. Sorry about that. But the great thing, and we've got the aircon as well, which is just makes everything really dry. So sorry, and I'm literally in the vent, the dry. It's amazing with our heat wave today. I love it, but I can't talk for very long. So we've got, that was the, th there are three of the colorways that we've got here. And I love it because Tula's main fabrics, colors that she uses, she's got a beautiful eye for color. And this one I love, because it's going from a beautiful reddy pinky color right the way through to a gorgeous sort of tealy turquoise and then we've got a beautiful brown color combination there stand oh that one doesn't want to stand oh we'll do it the other way there we go oh and look at the green oh it's just beautiful and then there's another green it's just a bit brighter oh it'd help if i actually turned these that so you could see them there we go i'm going to put this the other way hopefully that'll work but this looks a bit off-whitey, but it's actually a green. It's got sort of a minty gray effect on it. If anybody wants the number of this specific one, it's 4060. I know our wonderful Orifil collectors go through these colorways and they know exactly what each one is. That one is lovely because it looks like a gray, but it's also a very deep, deep green. It's beautiful. Sorry, I'm busy looking at it and not showing it to you. That's not really the way it should be. And then we've got this gorgeous green as well. Love that. And then we've got this gorgeous pink too. Look at that. And then last but certainly not least, the orange. I know it doesn't look orange there, but it is this 
gorgeous, gorgeous orange. So if you do collect Auraful and you want the numbers, check out the website for that. They are all on there. Um, and you can go and have a look. This is available for $33.99 today. Such a great price for such a lovely product. Oh, I love this. Now I've got to try and figure these all out. All 100% cotton and Aurifil's made in Italy, in Milan. So you can easily know that it comes from a really, really great source. The f it's just beautiful, beautiful thread to work with. You don't end up with any lint coming off. Really good for quilting. Very good for dense quilting specifically. And it's incredibly good for piecing. And what happens without having much lint coming off it, your machine doesn't get quite as bunged up with lint. So it's really, really friendly to be able to use such great thread on your machine. You're getting 200 meters on each one of these spools. There's 10 spools in total, all custom collected by Tula or chosen by Tula herself. Beautiful, beautiful colorway there and just perfect for any of her fabrics or any for anybody's fabrics really because the colors work so beautifully with everywhere. And they're only launched yesterday. Hmm? They only launched with us yesterday because that's one of the great thing about us is we're getting all these new products coming in at all different times. It's wonderful. We're going to now do the Oriful Necessities, which, oh, I adore these. So these are, are these, a th how many meters are these? 1300 meters on each one of these. You've got the black, you've got the white, you've got that gorgeous gray, and then we've got the, I'm gonna just check the name. Oh, we haven't got the name on that one. The numbers will be on the website. This is number 2000, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful colorway, these, all of them. And what I love is just seeing them on your screen there, look how they shine and they just pop and you can just tell there's no special lighting on them. They're not being backlit or anything like that. I'm too silly to know how to work any of those wonderful features on your phone to do that. But such a great, great sheen on all of these. So you know that when you're doing your, um, sorry, I've got a thread. <laughs> when you're doing any of your piecing, if any of your stitches do show, you're gonna have that beautiful pop of beauty there it's just such a lovely 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 collection these these are perfect for piecing they're 50 weight perfect for piecing perfect for quilting really dense quilting this really does come to life on that embroidery 50 weight is an excellent excellent weight and it's very very multifaceted to be able to use for different things really great product this also by Oriful and it's got that wonderful feel when you're using the thread. It doesn't have lint on it, and it just goes through your machine so effortlessly, and it's so, so beautiful. Really, really lovely, that. So now I am really excited about these. I am really, really excited about these because I saw Neil demonstrate these earlier in the week. Um, I, however, am not doing the thing where Neil did where he put his finger in it. I'm not doing that. They are safe, but I'm not doing it because <laughs> my luck, I'm not going to do it. So we have got all the bits that are in here. I'm gonna unpack it because I'm not quite sure which bits I need to put on and not. So you've got two different blades, you've got two different batteries, you've got the plug to charge everything, and you get this lovely little adapter. So these are the plugs that we use in South Africa, but you've got these wonderful little adapters that you can do as well. These on their own are worth about 12, 13 pounds. You can never find them. So if you are, oh, we get two little adapters. Why have you got two? got two little adapters I like it oh I know what it is because if you want to use one off the mains you pop this adapter in and then you screw that on to make it nice and safe um, and then that can go in the mains otherwise if you want to charge your battery I think this one goes to charge your battery somehow oh I know what it is you'll pop it in here so that goes into the back of this and your battery goes in there to charge up so that is the two different plugs, and then obviously you've got the one adapter for the two different plugs. Um, so you've got the option of being able to do both of those with the plug or doing it by a, a constant supply. Uh, you've also got your trusty little screwdriver, which is to take um, the blades on and off as you go. You've got your sharp blade and you've got your dull blade. Um, I'm not sure, oh, that's a B blade. So you've got the A, A and B blade there. 
and you get a wonderful set of instructions. Now, having not used this before, I am going to double check which is the sharp and the dull. Um, dum dum dum, fuselage. Oh, like I know what a fuselage is. Does anybody know? This is a fuselage. I didn't know that. But this really feels very grown up, I have to say. Oh, that one I am undoing. There we go. So this battery goes into the back here. At the back you will see there are four little prongs in there and you've got four little holes on the back of your battery there. You're plopping that in like that and you can then check you've got battery for that. And then if you're putting, I think that's the... Can we tell whether these are the, which is sharp and which is blunt? Oh, I'm going to do B. I think B is blunt. I'm going to go with B is blunt. Oh, God. Right, top tip, take the battery out when you're attaching anything. <laughs> I'm not very technically minded. I'm really sorry, I can't figure this out. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Nope. I, I can't get this in. So Neil did this wonderful demo. I was hoping I would be able to have watched the demo and be able to do this, but I'm not going to be able to because I can't get that on. So the Neil did this fabulous demo. Really, really, really handy. <laughs> now, what, what I loved about these scissors, though, is that it cuts absolutely everything. Now, I cut an enormous amount of fabric every day, and some of them are really, really, really um, big, giant pieces of fabric. Um, thank you for that. Um, I just need to put the screws in now. And the great thing is, is sometimes when you are cutting such big chunks of fabric, you do actually need to have a fabulous pair of scissors to be able to get them to be cut and then you can trim everything down or you can cut big big pieces of it it's just a really nice little tool to be able to do some bulk cutting on it and especially if you're cutting bigger pieces of fabric and thicker pieces of fabric this is so brilliant to be able to do that doing curtain making or bag making. And all I'm doing now is I'm just making sure that this is completely safe and secure. Um, and I'm now putting my battery back in now that I've got everything plugged in. And now you can see that it goes and cuts really, really well. Neil did this fabulous demo showing exactly how to change the blades and everything as well. And now I've hidden my PU over there because I was, saw this and I was like, this is a proper little toy where you look at it and go, oh, I want to play with that one. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim this little piece off here. Oh, that's effortless. So Neil did eight layers. I'm going to do four to start with. This is normal PU the one we sell on the website, and it is just such a great way. I'll cut two layers first, and you can see that completely cuts the fabric in half. So just doing one layer as well, because the good thing is, is you can be, you've got such great control over it. So even just using one layer, it doesn't matter how many layers you're doing, even though it's moving quite quickly, you can follow the pattern in the design, but you're actually controlling it. So even though this is going really fast, it, you don't need to move it very fast because it only cuts when you move it. So you can take it nice and slow and get a very accurate cut on it as well, which I love for pattern cutting as well. So if you wanted to cut out a certain design or a shape on this, you could then go and put your lines on it and cut through very, very easily. This is four layers here. So if you've got four layers and you just want to cut them in half, literally so effortless, you just cut them through like this. Oh, I love them. They're so cool. And also maybe you're wanting to do multiple shapes and you're wanting to cut things out as freehand. You've got that option of being able to take it down and keep the blade stationary and move your fabric with it. So trying to get a heart just takes a bit more practice. You can have it flat on the table because what's great is you've got this as a flat edge so you can leave that completely flat on the table. You put your finger down to activate it and then all you do 
just guide your fabric all the way through it, which is really handy. I love it. I'm taking it home with me. I love this. This is such a great little tool. I knew when I saw Neil using it, it would be good fun. I didn't realize it'd be quite so much fun. That is lovely. And it really, really is so quick. And it's so safe as well. I'm not putting my finger in it like Neil did. I'm sorry, no. Because no one should be putting their fingers in the middle of a blade anyway. It's just like a rotary cutter. You don't put your finger in the way. But it's such a safe thing. You saw Neil put his finger in it and didn't do anything. Um, and it's just such a great, great, fabulous tool to be able to have and use. I love it. And he did eight layers of um, PU in there. Should we give that a go? All right, I'm gonna try now. We've got eight layers there. So we go, I'm folded with eight layers of PU. It's unlikely you will ever cut eight layers of PU, but if you did, and this is on the blunt blade as well, it's great. It just cuts effortlessly through it. I love that. You've got some beautiful clean edges on it as well. Because some of these tools that if you did have them, you do end up, you know what it's like when you get some, um, some of the tools that you can cut through. They don't cut cleanly, but you can see each one of these pieces is completely cleanly cut. We've looked around and it's the quality of these is exceptional. Really, really great. Oh look, and I've now created a... So all I've done is I've made a little jigsaw puzzle, a little fabric jigsaw puzzle there ready to go where you can see I've cut them all together. That actually looks like a face, doesn't it? If I move the nose down, that actually really does look like a face. <laughs> I'm gonna put my little smile over here. There we go. Do you, can you hear it say, heat wave deals? Oh, it's got ears. I love that. Less than 10 minutes to our next deal. I'm very excited. We've had some really fabulous deals and items on today. Really great. Absolutely. We've got our wonderful Wonder Clips now back in stock today. And I'm just going to put that over here. Nice and tidy. Not. <laughs> I'm going to put that just over here because it's such a great little deal that the floor manager will sort that out later. Now we've got our fabulous Wonder Clips. Now, do you all remember, I, I love Wonder Clips. I use them on everything. And what I love about this is we have a box of Wonder Clips on the set. And every single person who has the Wonder Clips in their collection knows what happens is you use the Wonder Clips a lot. So our Wonder Clip box has emptied over the last couple of weeks, which is great. But you're getting a box of 50 Wonder Clips today, $28.99. And let me show you what these do and how they work. When I'm going to just reach over for my PU, which I've got over here. <clears throat> So when you're doing bag making or you're doing anything with PU, obviously you can't use needles or pins or anything like that. So that's when these wonder clips come into their own because all you do is you just use a wonder clip and you can use as many or as few as you like and you just line your, one, your PU up and just attach your gorgeous wonder clips along the way. You can color code them if you like. I know a person who actually has all their, all their wonder clips all exactly the same color. So she, I know she's got blue for bag making and she does different colors for quilting. So you can see you just easily line this all up ready to go. You do your stitching along there and then when you finish you take it off and there's virtually no marks on it and you just give it a little bit of bounce and it comes off. Now you see, for me as a quilter, what I do is I use these Wonder Clips for uh, binding. And with the shape of the Wonder Clip, what you've got over here is you've got a flat edge over here, which will be for the back of your fabric. So you've got your flat edge over here for the, one, for the back of the fabric. So if you imagine this is the back of the fabric there, that's completely flat. But equally, you've then got this curve over here. So if you can imagine, that is your binding. I'm trying to just show you. So this is the back of your fabric here, and then this is the binding. When you put that on over the top, you can see that you've got a natural curve on this edge of the binding. If I do it a bit smaller, that may be easier. 
So you can see when you do binding, the side has a bit of a curve. If I had less fingers, that would help. So there we go, you can pop that there. And then what happens is that little bump that you've got in the wonder clip protects your binding. You can see it nestles beautifully. So the back is completely flat and then your binding over here just curves effortlessly at the top. So it just works really, really well to be able to easily, comfortably put your binding in the right place where you need to stitch it. And it just makes your life that little bit easier for when Sylvia does your binding, like in my life. <laughs> So we have got our next heat wave in about three and a half minutes. So let me show you from the very beginning what our very first heat wave today was. We've only got these available for today. So you can now see that we've got our 12 and a half inch ruler, which is a square. And you've got that wonderful central line being able to line up all your half square hexagon, half square hexagons, half square triangles, get that all together for you to be able to trim your block up, blocks up. This is a 12 and a half inch square. You've also got a 28 and a half by six and a half inch ruler. Sorry, 28, 24 and a half by eight and a half inch ruler, which I personally prefer because you get that those extra two inches over the six and a half, which are, there are projects where you do need that little bit extra. And both of these today, you've got a saving of 10 pounds getting these together today, 45 pounds 98. That was our very first heat wave deal that we had this morning. Oh, we're, so we got, sorry. We're in a very low single figures on that one today. So that one will sell out, um, but it is only available for today. Whether it sells out or not, it's, it's not available for any more than that. So they're available while stocks last. Then we had our second heat wave deal today, which is this gorgeous 550 sewing machine. Not only are you getting the sewing machine, you're also getting 45 by, oh, let me move this over. You're getting a 45 by 60 inch, sorry. Too much stuff. Put that there. Right. Getting a 45 by 60 inch piece of wadding. You're getting four fat quarters. Lovely little fat quarter bundle combination there. Really, really lovely little bundle there. And then you're getting this wonderful Alpha rotary cutter. Top one for safety, you've got that wonderful little click button on there. This is Vicky's favorite rotary cutter. I learned to quilt on with one of these, really great little rotary cutter there. And you've also got this fabulous Allison glass panel. So that's 51 pounds worth of extras you're getting. And for 479 pounds, not only are you getting all of those wonderful items there, you're also getting this fabulous 550 Elner sewing machine. And the sewing machine on its own is 60 pounds cheaper than two, two people who are offering the same sewing machine for 539 pounds. These are only available while stocks last and the machine alone is 60 pounds more at other places. Whilst today you're getting it at 60 pounds less than those two people are offering it. And you're getting all these wonderful little items with it for free. Four pounds 79, but our last heat wave deal of today. Are you ready for it? We've got these fabulous, fabulous dots. Look at them. So these dots are available today. You've got four different, five different colors, white on lilac, white on red, emerald, white on yellow and white on powder. First time we've ever had any heat wave deals and these are available today. Half meter of each one. Let me show you what each one looks like as a half meter. It's the first time we've had this emerald color in. You're getting five of these half meters for 16 pounds 46. You're gonna be saving three pounds 99. Such a great saving there and such a lovely combination of fabrics. Really, really cute. Loving those. And that is our last heat wave deal of today. So every one of these half meters is the equivalent of two fat quarters. So you're effectively getting 10 fat quarters of this. 
which gives you £1.64 a fat quarter, which is coming in at, how much is that a metre? Times four. So it's £3.29 per half metre. So that'll be six pounds, just under £6.60 for a metre of these. Really, really great price point there and really lovely quality. Dots go with everything. Love a dot. So that is the last of our heatwave deals. Bag making, lining, any form of soft toy making. Really, really, even for quilting. I love using these. I use the spots in my Bargello quilts. They're a lovely, lovely combination of colours here. Really great bundle. And these are 1646 as our last heatwave deal. Sorry, say that again. So brand new and exclusive to us today is the Judy, is it Gautha, Gutha? Sorry, Judy, I said your name wrong. I'm really sorry. I'm terrible with pronouncing people's names, but look at this book. Isn't this amazing? Sensational quilts for scrap lovers. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got a huge quantity of scraps ready to go. This is available for $23.99 today, exclusive to Sewing Street. And don't forget, you've got all of our wonderful bundles. The, oh my gosh, look at these. This is the very first time I've seen this book. I love it. Look at all these quilts. I'm loving that one and that one and that one. Sorry, I go quiet when I read books because my brain's going, oh. I promise not to do that again. Ooh, they've got a very fancy Bernina. Oh, look at these. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. You can have a scrap organizational tree. Ooh, I like it, I like it. When you're faced with a million scraps, it's even worse. I don't know what you're talking about, Judy. What are you talking about? Color theory, oh, I like this. Oh, it gives you a colour wheel as well. Oh, I like it. Okay, so that whole section there might be the most interesting thing I've read in book before because I haven't read it all. But that is incredible because I think a lot of us don't work with colour a lot. Um, and it just shows you different ways of being able to understand colour and how you work it together. It also teaches you sewing cu uh, curves and circles. Great tip there. I'm still terrible at it, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh, I love that. Oh my word, she's colored it like a, a weather storm. That's very clever. Oh, and it shows you how you're gonna construct the quilt as well, which is great. It's really broken down well, and I love the fact that it gives you a color key there to be able to break down and do. And it's just so beautifully done and so clever. And I love the fact you've got half a quarter square triangle and then a half square triangle on that. I love the way you can do all those different colors. Oh, true north, I like that. But it really teaches you and shows you how to make the, uh, the, the quilt very, very effectively, being able to put it all together. And it creates all the different units. <clears throat> oh, the split screens is quite cute as well. See, this one I like, because I love the fact when you've got a neutral background, you've just got these shards of beautiful color. Love that, oh my, cut 448 squares, okay. But to be fair, when you've got all that, those scraps, most of us have cut our scraps into different sizes anyway. One of my friends, she has a one inch box, two inch box, three inch box, and a four inch box, and all of them are cut into squares ready to go. So for my lovely Irene, she'd have 550 of those waiting ready to go at any point. She is definitely ready for this book. But I do think it's really important that when you got your scraps and you are able to make something out of it, this is just such a clever way of doing it. And what I love about scrap quilts, especially those beginning day scrap quilts, all of them are so beautifully put together and all of them are made from scraps. It's brilliant. 
This is a really lovely little book. Ooh, that's very pretty. And quite effective as well, with very, very little effort. Oh, that's Judy. Hello, Judy. I've actually got several of her books, actually. She's written four other books. I think it's the quilt, um, it's Rainbow Quilts I've got of hers. And Scrap Lovers, I think. Because that looks very familiar. Brilliant, brilliant, lovely little book there. Really, really nice. Sensational Quilts for Scrap Lovers. $23.99 today. So now we've got two extra wide backings here. Um, these are such a lovely, 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 lovely print on this. This is the red colorway that we've got. This is called the cross hatch. Each one is 2.8 meters long by half a meter, and that's available for $8.99. And what I love about this cross hatch is that each one of them, it's not a straight line, so it's not gonna make your eyes go a bit funny, but they've got that wonderful, um, sort of grid effect to it but because the grid is irregular it doesn't give you that strobing feel and that moment where you're looking at a piece of paper for, you know those grid papers you all know what I mean I can't get my words out properly so when you start iron stripey shirts and things you go but your eyes go a bit funny these ones don't because it's such a lovely lovely fabric and the great thing about the red is as I said earlier Santa is coming and it's that time of year and if we start now and get all your projects finished by October that means you don't have to go and do any form of shopping for the whole of November and December makes Christmas a lot nicer I promise so we've got this wonderful red available $8.99 by the half meter there by 108 inches but we've all also got this fabulous aqua color which I adore this is also 8.99 2.8 meters by a half meter and again you can see that beautiful crosshatch design on there really really lovely last time we had this it sold out so so quickly and I'm so loving these loving those it's been a really fun day today Where is it? Got it. I hope. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Fabric fell off the table. Right, now remember all of our heat wave deals that we're having today because our weather is so wonderful and we're wanting you to enjoy the sunshine even more. They're available until we sell out. So we have now got, how many did you say? Less than 15 of this heatwave deal. There are five striped panels bundle, less than 15 available of these. You're saving 20 pounds on these. These are all exclusive to Sewing Street, all a wonderful different color combination, all different sizes, all different ways of doing it. And you can see those beautiful, beautiful color combinations there. Really, really lovely. That's just one of the panels that we've got in there. That's the first panel. Such a huge saving on these. It's really, really great. <clears throat> then we've got this one as well. Again, you're getting 27 and a half inches by two and a half inches for each one of these. Oh, sorry, 22 and a half by two and a half. You can see the beautiful, beautiful colors here. And just see those gorgeous designs there. They're so lovely. My favorite, I think, on this one is this gorgeous tree one they've got over here, this beautiful little tree. Love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous colorway here. That's exclusive to Sewing Street as well. All five of these are only available through ourselves. So that's our second design panel that we've got. A design, is it a design roll? Are these called design rolls? Perfect. Um, and then we've got this exclusive Brights one. Look at that. Again, 22 and a half inches wide, each one of these by 2.5. And you're getting two, four, six, eight, 16 different colors there. That's the third, third uh, panel you're getting in this bundle. Saving 20 pounds on this bundle today. What a great saving.
And then we've got, oh, I've got this upside down. Now this one's a full length. So these are two, four, six, seven. Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Seven different colors here. These are 55 inches wide by two and a half as a rainbow color. Now somebody on our social media a couple of weeks ago, what they'd done is they bought one of the, they bought two of these rainbows and they made them into curtains. It looked so, so beautiful. And I can't remember who did it, but I saved the photo. So I'll share that on social media later on today. It was such a beautiful use of these panels. It was really, really pretty. I wish I thought of that before I would have given it to everybody to get that out and then this is our last panel that you're getting with this bundle as well this is the spot rainbow fabric seven different um, stripes as well all these beautiful colors all with a beautiful little dot on it um, 55 inches 55 inches by two and a half and I'm now hearing we are on single figures in this bundle So if you have got it in your basket, please make sure you check out We don't want you to lose out until such time as you've checked your basket out Unfortunately, it's not yours and We don't want anybody to be able to take that out of your basket because they pay for it before you do One day PNP of 395 so it doesn't cost you any more or any less checking out multiple times in the day So if you really want it, check it out Got our five bundles there available, saving you 20 pounds. That's another of our gorgeous heat wave deals today. I did it. Okay, okay. So we've also got our beautiful, beautiful machine here today, the 550. Why am I moving these over here when I need to move the machine over here? Sorry, I'll get better at this one day. We've got our gorgeous 550 Elmer sewing machine here. This is now available today with this wonderful combination of uh, gifts that are coming with it for £479. We had two price comparisons earlier for £539 just on the sewing machine. Just on the sewing machine alone, you're saving £60 and that's over and above the wonderful wadding that you're getting. So this is a 45 by 60 inch wadding. This is the same size as the Victoria Carrington quilt the other day. We're also getting this wonderful Ulfa rotary cutter. Uh, for left or right handed people there, which is nice change. You're also getting these wonderful five, four fat quarters as well. Really, really lovely linen feel to them. Really great there. Is that gonna hold? Nope. So we've got that. And then last, but certainly not least in this wonderful bundle, you're getting this Allison glass fabric panel. Gorgeous, gorgeous panel that you're getting there. So all of these are available completely free today. Let me move that back up a bit so you can actually see it. And the machine will come with an extension table as well. So you've got all of that together today for £479. Now remember, you've got your Elna two-year guarantee. You've got that going to be sent directly to you from Elna. And that is included at your £3.95 postage and packaging. You don't pay any more or any less for that. So you may get two different deliveries. You'll probably get your, your panel, your wadding, your rotary cutter and your fat quarters in one bundle. And then your sewing machine will come through to you directly from Elna as well. But you will get it, I promise you, because when I got my 720 the other day, my, um, it came, my 720 came from Elna the day after I got my bundle of fabric that I ordered at the same time. So that's totally normal. Even I got it that way. It's totally, totally fine. And there we go. Oh, I'm hearing now, we're gonna recap the most fat, uh, popular product. Oh, wonderful. So the most popular um, item that we've had on the show today is the Jelly Roll from uh, Moda. This is the most fabulous combination of fabrics. This is all from the Bell, what's it called, Bell? Le, Le Beau Papillon, um, which is a French general fabric. What have I done here? Oh, there we go. This has been the most popular, popular item on the whole show today, which I love. And you all saw, if you didn't watch the eight o'clock show, you can catch that on um, YouTube when we finish up. But I showed each and every one of these beautiful fabrics and the way that I open my jelly rolls whenever I get them, that I take each one of my fabrics and I lay them out and check each and every single piece to know exactly what I'm getting in the bundle, to know what it is that I can do with them, how I can use them. 
and you can just tell with this French general the fabrics are so beautiful. I'll skip ahead through all the reds and you can see we're now in these beautiful, beautiful pinks. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous colourway. Oh, and the blues are so beautiful as well. And what's so great is because you've got the history of the French general, the colourways that they're doing them in are the same colourways they would have done them in a season or two ago. You may not have the exact blue, but you will have the same red, and you'll be able to use previous ranges together with this product as well. It's really, really lovely to be able to have that um, continuity with the colours. Oh, I love these. And I'm, I'm not showing you every single one of the colours, unfortunately, because, I do, oh, they're just so beautiful. Look at that one. I do think that one's really pretty as well. Oh, wow, of course. Look at that. Brilliant. So that is our top seller of the day. This gorgeous jelly. How many? Wow. So, so we had a lot more of the jelly rolls than we did the charm packs. And I'm hearing now, so everybody who liked this collection, those charm packs, how many did you say? There are three left. So if you do want to get a, one of these uh, Le Beau Papillon charm packs there are only three left so if you've got that in your basket please make sure you check out I don't want you to be losing out on those but these have been such a fabulous fabulous um uh, salad today we had more of the jelly rolls so we've got a few more of those left over but please make sure you check out of your baskets when you go through that if you haven't shopped with us before let me tell you how we're doing that so sorry all the little bits of fluff from the jelly roll are on the table now so if you want to go onto our website it is www.sewingstreet.com otherwise you can give the call center a ring if you prefer to call the call center that's 0800 001 4433 Wonderful, wonderful um, group of people based just up the road here in Redditch. Lovely, lovely. To, um, I've never had a bad experience with them. They've been amazing. Every time I've had a question with something silly, always been able to answer it. And if they haven't, they get back to me. Really, really great. But if you haven't then um, linked up with our social media platforms, let me show you how you can do that. The best way of doing it the first way is our Sewing Street TV page, which is run by the channel. That is www.facebook.com forward slash Sewing Street TV. Also, if you want to send us in a message, <clears throat> pardon me. Sorry about that. Um, if you want to drop us a message, there's a message button on the page where we can then answer your questions. If you've got any questions about the show, any suggestions, that's the best way to get in touch with us as well as our email address, which is studio at sewingstreet.com. Um, but if you want to follow us on our other platforms, we've also got a Sewing Street fans page on Facebook. And on our Instagram page, it's at Sewing Street. Um, and then don't forget our YouTube page. Our YouTube page has got the most wonderful compendium of all of the videos we've ever done. Every single sewing machine demonstration, whether our handy quilters or whether it's our black and uh, block of the week um, uh, demos, that's the word, demos. <laughs> with me where I try and remember all my words <laughs> so you've got all of those different videos every single demonstration of every product are all available for you to watch then on our YouTube page and that's available in full rotation from the very very first show on Valentine's Day right up to yesterday and in a couple of hours today so that's a really lovely way of being able to stay in touch with what we're doing. Also, don't forget to sign up to our newsletter as well. So if you go onto the website, www.sewingstreet.com, you'll be able to see there's a bar sort of in the middle of the page, just below shop our, catalog, our catalogue or categories. You can then, or, or you can sign up with it that way. Sorry. Um, www.sewingstreet.com slash sign up. Really, really nice to be able to get that newsletter. And each one of the newsletters, when they come out every three or four days, it tells you which designers are coming on. And what I love about that is you can go and research the designer, you can follow them on social media, you can see what they're doing and how they, and you get a sneak peek of what they're going to be able to make. And you'll be able to be able to get the, if you go onto the newsletter as well, you'll be able to get all the products that are coming up in shows, you get them a couple of days beforehand as well. Sorry, what was that? 
So when you go onto our website, don't worry when you go on and it says Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are our sister channel and we're sharing their studio and their website at the moment while everything's being built. Unfortunately, with what's happened in the last few months, we haven't been able to do that as quickly as we'd have liked, um, but everybody's working very, very hard behind the scenes to get that happening. So Jewelry Maker are the, just the most amazing website as well. So also have a little check out on there because I was lost in a little Jewelry Maker spiral the other day. It was wonderful. So go and have a check out on their, their channel their page as well they very kindly lent us part of their website to be able to then set everything up and make it all very user-friendly for you oh we've had a, a message in from Rachel oh Rachel saying this is the first time she's been able to see sewing street um, on her normal television so channel 74 so it's the first time she's seeing us today Rachel that's lovely Oh, she's saying fabulous. What more can I say? Lots of love, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, it's lovely to have you. We, I'm here not very often, probably twice a week, three times a week. So it would be lovely to have you. I'm next in on a Friday. I'm normally here every Friday. So I hope you can join us back then as well. It's lovely. Now, my absolute, not absolute favourite, one of my Fay, 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 favorite things are barley pops. Now, if you haven't seen a barley pop before, I'm going to show you. I'm going to pick. Can I pick one color to show? I'm going to do the blues because blue is my favorite. And I've bought about five of these blues, four or five of these blues already. So the barley pops come in four different colors in our um, collection. We've got our autumn colorway here. Oh, there we go. These are 42 batik fabrics, two and a half inches wide by 40 inches. The autumn colorway there goes so that you can see these gorgeous colors going from a really deep dark brown, that lovely cream all the way up to the lovely cream again over here. Every single one of them completely and utterly unique. That's the whole benefit of having the uh, batik fabric. So that's the autumn colorway. We've also got our pastel colorway. So that's available there and you can see that gorgeous combination of colors um, there. Really, really lovely combination of colors, but they're slightly more pasteled, which I love. I think they work really, really, really well. And sometimes you just want a little bit more of a muted colorway. This works so beautifully. And then we've got our bright colorway, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've made a quilt from the Pam and Nikki Lintock book out of this colorway and it is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous that really really lovely that's the rainbow colorway and then last but certainly not least is our under the sea color combination there and every time they say under the sea I want to go I keep thinking of for the little mermaid as we all do but let me show you what the barley pops look like I was gonna say this isn't how I left them <laughs> oh, Debbie had these out love you Debbie oh, love it We've all got different ways of doing it, but what I love about these barley pops is let me show you how they all look and what they all look like. So you can see over here, you've got the front, but over there, you've got the back. They are identical on the front and the back. You literally cannot tell with which is front and which is back because that is the whole technique of the barley pops. And what they've done is they've used that same um, method of being able to put the fabric and the reactors together and the, and the inhibitors to be able to create these fabulous designs and they've used the same spot design all the way through on every single colorway so you can see that each one of these dots follows all the way through and it doesn't matter which color you look at you've still got that wonderful dot all the way through. And each one of these colors, you can see, goes so beautifully with the next one next to it. And it doesn't matter if you're doing this gorgeous green with that bright purple, and then you pop this bit more minty green in the middle, they all work so beautifully together, which is the absolute joy of the Barley Pop collection, because these absolute they're just so, I can't find my favorite because they're just so beautiful. Each of them is so different in their own way. So you can see this green here, when I put it down next to, you can clearly tell the exact same green. You can see over here, they're so different because of how they've been dyed. And you can see over here, that flows in perfectly together. You can tell that it was probably next to each other when it was cut, but you can see how different when I separate them, 
you can see how different they are as fabrics. So each and every single piece, although you're getting two pieces of each colour, each and every single one of them is totally, totally different because of the, the method they do to make the barley pops and using the, the boutique making um, process. That was the word, process. And I absolutely adore all of these colours, which is why I've got quite so many of them. Because I love these, they're really good. And you can just tell, each time I lay one down, I fall a little more in love with them all. And they all look so different, but so, so similar using that same technique. And again, you can see those two are the same, but again, pulling them apart, you can see they're so different with the way that they've been dyed. Oh, I love these. Oh, there we go. Absolutely love it. And you can see they come in with all these beautiful, beautiful colours. And then you get these gorgeous dots in there as well. Love these. So that is the Under the Sea Barley Pops. Um, yeah, can't rave enough about them. Love them to pieces. So what have we got on tomorrow? Who's doing tomorrow? Vicky, hello Vicky. I never get to see Vicky. So tomorrow morning, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm very excited now, I can't wait. Sally Stevens is in and she's doing the wedding ring ruler. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that. I love Sally Stevens and I love that ruler. Ooh, top morning for me. Um, we've got the Shadow Arrows quilt with Catherine Wright. Not seen Catherine before, looking forward to that. And then everything under 10 pounds, that can't be right. Can't be right. And then tomorrow afternoon, uh, tomorrow at 11 o'clock, you're going to have the repeat of the Modus Le Beau Papillon uh, fabric. And then the repeat of today's 9 o'clock show with the Gemology cushions, which is going to be really fun for you all. Looking forward to that. So now remember, we've got our heat wave deals today. That's while stocks last, only available today. We've got our last heat wave deal over here. I'm still here. Hello. I'm just, everything, we've got so much on the set today, I wanted to make sure we got them. So you've got three alphabet panels here, really, really amazing, exclusive to Sewing Street alphabet panels, five metres of Bonderweb, really, really fabulous deal this. You're saving £10, and these are £31.96 for the five metres of Bonderweb, the three different alphabet panels. Let me show you one of these panels quickly. They're all different colours. This is the grey colourway there. That's what you're getting. You can see it's really, really big. Really love that. And the great thing is, is you won't use it all in one project either. You could be able to use them all the way along, different projects and different things. It's a really lovely, lovely, lovely um, combination of colours here. And they're also, also interchangeable because the greys can go very, very easily with all of these brights. And the brights work very well with the traditional as well. <laughs> oh. I'm really sorry, this aircon has really set me off today. Sorry about that. So you can see all of those three colours, they go very, very well together. So you can mix and match as you go. You don't have to just use the greys or just use the brights. You can mix and match. So then that's all together there for £31.96. A lovely, lovely combination there. And that's the another of our gorgeous heatwave deals that are available only for today. Don't know where to start next. So have a check on our website, www.sewingstreet.com. You'll be able to see you've got the YouTube page, then everything below, there will be everything on the show for today. Thank you all so much for your time today. Look forward to seeing you on Friday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.